We're going to continue where we left off last time on, on this game. We're starting, we're going to go try to get another ending. And see what happens. This is what we're going to do. Okay. All right. Let's actually launch the game. That'd probably be helpful. Uh, we might finish the game today, actually. Uh, we don't have very many more um, endings to get. Again, we got the we got the yellow submarine ending last time. In other words, the ending where you die. The ending where you die. And I believe we are, I already have it set up. Yeah, I already have it set up to where we're starting here. So now we will be going down this little area right here. And door eight, I think. And then we'll, then we'll come down here. Even though we, even though we could just start here if we really wanted to. And then, then start moving around because I, I just want to check what's in here. That's what I want to do. <laughs> really for no particular reason. Alright. Alright, we're going to skip. We're going to skip this. We already know it. I want to go through door eight. I, I, I think I'm going to go with door eight. Okay, eight it is. Yeah. All right, then. That means June's got to go through seven. What? Why? What? If the six of us are going to keep going without leaving anyone behind, there are only three ways we can do it. Have three, five, and eight go through seven. Four, five, and seven go yes, through seven. Yes, yes. Four, three, six, and seven. Six and five cannot be in the same no room with one another. In other words, three and four and seven and eight can never go through the same doors. You get it now? Oh, no. You're saying we aren't going to see each other again for a long time. Uh, hey, come on. You're making it sound like we're never going to see each other again. It's possible. <laughs> we gotta split up, but only for a while. This is just like when we went into the four and five doors, remember? Yeah, it's just like when we went through that door, except this door could also lead to our deaths. We got split up then too, but we all met back up. I'll bet seven and eight are just like that. You mean they're connected somewhere? Yeah, probably. Probably. Yeah, probably. I'm sure they're gonna connect somewhere. Why? What makes you think so? If they don't, then neither team can get through door nine. In other words, the game would end right here. That's true. Cyril's been on top of his shit so far. I don't think he'd blow it now. I'm damn sure that son of a bitch wants to have his fun as long as possible. He's not gonna end this game until we get through the nine door. Hmm. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna see each other again. I promise. Yes. Promise? <sighs> you guys are done, right? <laughs> well, we're done. We're done. Anyway, that's pretty much we it. We can go now. Clover and I will both go into separate groups. I figure I'll take seven and Clover can take eight. Any problems with that, Clover? Whatever. <laughs> All right. We're ready to go then. That's right. S Santa hates Clover for some reason. Let's move. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Then shall we go? It's open. Okay. Hurry! Sprint? <sighs> 
June. Uh, yeah. Jumpy. Uh, no, we uh, 81 seconds here. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> One seconds left. Hurry! Ugh. Oh, it stopped. Pointless. P pointless. Oh, yeah, that's what right. An unpleasant girl. Unpleasant? What do you mean unpleasant? She lost her brother. <laughs> I bet she's not very popular with the boys. <laughs> hmm. Maybe pairing these two together was a mistake. Too late now. I better catch up to them. Ah, oh, it's a dead end. There's a door on the left, though. A laboratory? Huh. Oh, that doesn't sound very pleasant. I don't like the look of this place. Me either. But there aren't any other doors. It's not like we have a lot of choices. Junpei. Huh? Please. You first. What? Ugh. Fine. Why, why I gotta go first? You know, I think the window looks into another room. It's usually what windows do. They look into a place that's not the actual room. Maybe it's for monitoring something. What the hell? Ugh, it looks so creepy. It's kind of like that doll is waiting for surgery. This is a laboratory, right? I'd say it's more like it's waiting to be experimented on. Ooh, uh. It's creepy either way. You don't think that thing's gonna suddenly sit up or something, do you? No, no, it's well, impossible. I don't know. I mean, look at all those cables sticking out of it. If we press the wrong button, I don't know. Oh, stop it. Just thinking about it is terrifying. Wait, where's Clover? <clears throat> what is she? Are you okay? What are you talking about? What? I, I'm just worried about you. You've been real quiet. What? I can't be quiet if I want to? Well, I, I mean, of course you can. I, I just... Okay then. If I can be quiet if I want, just leave me alone, okay? Come on, you know I can't do that. We gotta work together. Junpei, you just don't get it! Yeah, uh, okay, all right. My brother's not the kind of person who just leave me behind! Something happened to him! Something... something bad. Yeah. What happened? Look, just don't bother me, okay? Leave me alone. Hey, wait, uh, Clover! Hold on! That way is... I told you to leave me alone! <laughs> Clover, watch out above you! Fantastic. What the heck? What's going on here? Hang on. I I'll get it open. Oh, for crying out. You'll never do it on your own. Uh -huh. Damn it! It's not moving. Wait! Are you gonna give up? Just like that? Yep, it looks like you're screwed, I'm afraid. No. I'm not giving up. This has got to be another one of Zero's puzzles. If it is, then there's got to be a way to open it. Just what I was thinking. Now all we got to do is find it. Lotus and I can look around out here. Clover, you're going to have to see if you can find anything in there. Oh, yes, I'm on it. Seek a way out. Okay, this is, um, just to clarify, this is, yeah, this is the middle. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. Okay, so you're down there. And it's locked, fantastic. Okay, let's check over here. It's a waste of time. What? Don't see a power cable. 
This thing isn't even connected to a main computer, though. It's gotta be... It's got a monitor, keyboard, and a mouse. That's it. Uh, it's fantastic. What? Yes, they are. They are larger than the ones on the top. Nothing. And on the right, all have red lights on them. Yep, locked. Probably. Oh. Ethanol. Sepsis. Come on, that's common knowledge. Anhydrous ethanol is powerful cleaner. It can even erase marks left by a permanent marker. Oh. Well, it's not a permanent marker then. It's, I mean, if it can be erased, it's not very permanent, is it? Bunch of notes about experiments. It's all technical and stuff. I don't really get it. <laughs> Which one? Three prong power cable. All right, cool. Oh. Very old keyboard. One of this cable needs to be uh, connected to a monitor and the other one needs to plug into the desk. Shoot, can't use this. Perfect. <sighs> Perfect. There are two levers here. Think they activate something? I don't know. It's pushing. It's pulling. Clock may stop, but time goes on. No time to screw around. Know what the cable is connected to? All right, so everything's locked. We have a power cable, but we have nothing to plug it into. There's no keyhole, no card reader, and no keyboard into putting in a password. Perfect. Oh, wait, Clover. Oh, Clover's got that door. Okay. Nope, door's not gonna open. Perfect. And it won't work. Don't know what kind of table it is, but part of it's all black. There's a pen lying over here. I think someone's probably using it to make the table black. They only used the pen part, the pen on one part of it. There's probably something underneath all that pen. Oh, it's a permanent marker? You know, erase ink from a permanent marker? Yeah, I do. I actually have some sick, some sick ethanol. Clover, use this, use it. What am I gonna wipe with? Your clothes. 
<laughs> kidding, kidding. Please don't look at me like that. You're scaring me. Window's made of really thick glass. I don't even think a bullet could break it. It's okay, nothing all and use it to wash up the permanent marker. Yes, do it. Well, she's got the cloth, but she seems to have, be having a little trouble with the bottle of ethanol. Uh, when she's ready, I should ask her to get to work on the stuff on the table. Junpei, it's working. It's wiping the permanent ink off. There we go. It's kind of a weird drawing under all the permanent ink. What's the deal with the drawing that uh, Clover found? Maybe I should ask her to take another look at the table. I wonder what this is. There are a bunch of numbers and some kind of grid. I can't see it, so. Clever, you got a pen and a notebook, right? You could write those numbers down and then hand them to me through the bars. Okay. Examination table, creepy mannequin. Yeah, how are the, how are the cables? Does the plug have three prongs or two? Guess she does kind of have to crouch down to get a look under there. The cable on the monitor has two of those metal things. Okay, perfect. Well, I can unplug it, but it's connected to the main computer. I can't take it over to you. Fantastic. So the thing that uh, makes the plug with the three metal thingies plug into a not not yeah it's not it's not useless we actually need that please <laughs> we need that we need that thing and back down she goes unplug. These weird colored stains all over the sink. The rack. There are a bunch of cables on it. So I cut the outer stuff on the cables. I can see wires inside. Alright, give me my stuff. Alright, paper with numbers acquired. Junpei, why did we get the two prong cut? Uh, so that then we can connect it. <laughs> I have to actually. Where do I plug it in at? Where's the socket on the wall? Oh, wait. I have to combine it. I'm a stoop. There we go. Under the desk I go. <laughs> Why not? Because there's no computer. Oh wait, something turned on. That worked. What? Updating RSF file, make DIR, make BC. 27.3 seconds, start. Huh? It's running on its own? That's pretty magical. It certainly looks like it. Uh, isn't that kind of weird? What? Well, it's not connected to the main computer, right? There's just this keyboard and monitor. The only cable connected to this thing is the power cable we just plugged in. So, why is it working? Maybe it's a wireless display. No. <laughs> uh... A wireless display? Yes, it connects to your computer wirelessly, hence the name. Impossible. Have you been living in a cave, Junpei? 
No, this is not how these things work. Is that normal? No, it's not normal. Yes, Junpei, at least where listen. I worked. What? Oh. Okay. Oh, it stopped. You pass with a colon. Pass with a colon. Looks like we need to enter a password. Again? Uh, there must be a hint around here somewhere. Could you go take a look? Yeah, I'm on it. What are you going to do? Nothing. I'll see if I can do something about this on my own. On your own? Yep, on my own. Lotus? Lotus? Question mark? All right. Let's kick some ass. <laughs> uh. oh. oh, the the hands are going so fast they're blurry. What? Oh, no. Didn't expect that, did you? Of course I did. Oh, snap, she's using the home row on me. How it? You're typing so fast. I, I can't even see your fingers. <laughs> what kind of job do you have? What are you? I don't know. I'm unemployed at the moment. Unemployed. Oh, yeah. I guess I, I should have guessed that. I used to work for a cybersecurity firm, but I quit. Why? Huh? Oh. Um. It was just something. Something. Okay. All right. Something. I see. Something I see. I see. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, uh, what are you doing now? Oh, her her fingers are visible now. I'm going to try and brute force it. Brute, brute force? Brute what? A brute force attack is... Well, the short version is that I just attack the thing head on. The long version? A brute force attack is one of the simplest ways to break a cipher. Hmm, brute force. It checks every possible combination until it finds the right one. For a complex cipher, it can take a very long time. I'm writing a program that would run an attack like that on its own. It's not the most elegant solution, certainly. But given the circumstances, there isn't much else I can do. <laughs> oh, but back to what we were talking about earlier. Well, okay. What were we talking about? I don't even know. The wireless display? No, impossible. It's kind of strange if you think about it, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. <laughs> How do I put it? Well, let's say you write a program that calculates an addition problem for you, all right? So you enter one plus one. Oh, no. The screen will show you too. Yes. See? Isn't that strange? <sighs> uh, no. Not really. I mean, I guess. Maybe. Oh, come on now. Of course a caveman like you would think it was strange. You said so just a minute ago. Hmm? <sighs> You're just not getting it, are you? Yeah. Uh, Who calculated one plus one? The, uh, the, the main computer, right? You said it connected to the monitor wirelessly. Yeah, but someone who grew up in a cave wouldn't know that, right? They'd probably think that this thing here, the monitor, is doing the calculating. And once they've decided that, they'll start examining this monitor. They might poke the screen or something. Ah, I see the color changes when I press it here. Then they might investigate the hardware on the inside. Oh, I see. So this wire supplies the power. Eventually, they might even cut the wires. Ah, yes. Just as I expected, when this wire is cut, no results appear. Therefore, it must be this device which does the calculations. Hmm. Oh. But the truth is that, just like you said, the computer is doing the calculating. But these cave people wouldn't know that. I have arrived. Welcome, Shifty Owl. Welcome. Uh, we just started. We just went through door eight. Because they have no idea that the monitor and the computer are We're using wirelessly. brute force. So, uh, what are you trying to say? Nothing, really. Seriously? Nothing? It's okay. just... I thought, maybe... What if the relationship between human beings and our brains is like that? Hmm... Huh? Well, let's say you stick a bunch of electrodes into parts of the brain. Oh, Jesus. A scientist examining the signals they send out might say, Hmm, interesting. So stimulating this part of the brain causes the person to see colors. That must mean this neuron cluster controls that function. Oh, God. Okay, let's see what happens when I cut out this part. Ah, just what I thought. Cutting off this part causes that function to cease. Therefore, human thought processes must occur in the human brain. So is Lotus still a prostitute? Who knows? Nope, she's just on it. She said she's unemployed. <laughs> See, doesn't it sound the same? But she she is a master of the home row. She types too fast. Mm, yeah. Maybe the brain is just an output device, like this monitor. Maybe our thought processes actually occur somewhere else, in a 
main body. We just don't know it. We never even think about it. Just like those cave people wouldn't know about wireless communications. Hmm, cave people. We can't imagine that there's some unknown medium that transfers information into our brains where we experience that information as thoughts. Um, um. The brain is just an output device. Human thought actually occurs somewhere else. Impossible. <laughs> that's just crazy talk. Yeah, it's just crazy talk, please. Uh. Maybe that's the cause of Seven's amnesia. If memory is actually stored somewhere else, in some sort of main body somewhere, maybe he hasn't forgotten anything at all. You say she's a techie turned jobless, turned back alley worker? Hmm. He's just that's a, a difficult time accessing his memories because the monitor. That, that is a that's a theory right there. Huh. <laughs> I suppose that would explain aphasia and blindsight too. Perhaps they actually can speak or see. Hmm. The monitor just isn't functioning properly. Hmm. I guess people with prosopagnosia could be suffering from the same thing. I don't know what that is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a minute. Prosopag what? Exactly. What? You've never heard of prosopagnosia? What is this? Is just common knowledge? I just <laughs> no. What is it? Yeah, you learned that in grade school. Like, what's what's wrong well, with you? Put simply. It means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between human faces. Ah, I know that one. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. Okay. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Usually they can make do by associating people with other things. Their voices, their clothes, their hair. Does that mean other people's faces look like blanks? A blank face. Yeah. Yeah, like what? You don't you don't know how to like do do smart things? Yeah, what? Come on. I don't know how to do college level things. Yeah. Like sorry, I only I only have elementary school school education. No. No, I, I don't can't think do so. anything. Well, you've seen monkeys, like in a zoo, right? Oh, yes, yes, monkey. So. To you and me, all the monkey faces look the same. Mm-hmm. Even though they've obviously got faces, it's almost impossible for a human to distinguish between them. The zoo staff that works with them would learn to identify different monkeys eventually. But you or I couldn't, unless one had a scar or something else to set it apart. Well, that's how people would be to someone with prosopagnosia. Hmm. Prosopagnosia. Huh. I didn't even know that kind of thing existed. And um, uh, what were we talking about? I don't know. The idea that your brain is just an output device. No, no, we're, n we're not going back to that. Are you serious about that stuff? Not really. I was just kidding for about half of it. Okay, good, 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 good. What about the other half? Ah, jeez, no. Nah. Well, I guess I was just adulting. Adulting? Oh, mm -hmm. no. Hmm. Hmm. <sighs> not funny. <laughs> it's nothing more than a story I made up out of boredom. Seriously. Wait, which is the story that you made up out of boredom? Uh, it was the whatever. first thing that came to mind, and I just talked about it to kill time. But, looks like I don't need to talk anymore. Why? And I don't have to kill time any longer. Oh, the brute force attack. Oh, then you finished that brute whatever thing? The brute force yeah, attack. I certainly did. And let's see what we got. <laughs> Piece of cake. The screen changed again. What the hell is that? It's a cube. No idea. Looks like a puzzle. Darn. Huh? Uh, aren't you gonna, I don't know, do more computer stuff? No, I can't do anymore. It won't let me do any more programming. See? The keyboard. Nothing. Okay, you just broke it. Fruit so, force. there's nothing more I can do. <laughs> um, you type too fast. Well, I guess I'll leave this to you then, Junpei. What? <laughs> Let me take a break, all right? I did my part. Yeah, uh, well... Welp, I guess I'll I guess just right. sit here then. Thanks, Lotus. <laughs> no problem. Make sure you know when you should thank people. What? Now, I better take care of this myself. No more relying on anyone else. Yeah, Lotus. We don't, we don't know if Lotus is a weirdo or not. We don't know what... We don't know what's going on anymore. Okay, so this seems pretty... Oh, wait. Wait, what? 
fourth touch is your end. There we go. Where did it come from? I don't know. Ah, who's this? Look, Junpei, the lights on the lockers are green. You must have unlocked it with the computer puzzle. <laughs> All right, what's in there? All right, we got a, you got a key. Uh, it looks like it goes to some sort of machine, and the other one has the Earth symbol on it. So the tech girl couldn't figure out the simple child child puzzle. Yeah, that's. I mean, come on, I have to be useful. We gotta leave the simple child puzzles to me. Activation key. What? Hey Junpei, do you have a minute? Uh, no. I actually have to. I know where this key goes. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. I um. I wanted to ask you something. Perfect. Hmm? Hmm? Junpei, you went into door five with my brother, right? That is right. Did you hear him say, like, anything weird? Uh, I don't know. I mean, he didn't really uh, divulge anything about his uh, secret Jedi mind powers. Uh -huh. But I'm about 90% sure he has well, them. Well, let me think. Sorry, Clover. I can't really think of anything. So that's literally what it is, Shifty. It's just literally just people just leaving me, leaving me the stupid puzzles, and then they just sit around. Either that, or they actually just can't do it. They they actually know how to do everything complicated. They just can't do any of the any of the easy stuff. I mean, he did mention that his hearing exceeds that of a regular person, or something like that. But that's about it. Okay. Uh, hey, uh, wait a minute. Hmm? hmm? Look, I, I don't know if I should ask you things, but if you don't mind, uh, I was hoping you could tell me if, uh, is Snake, uh, I mean, was he born? Yes, that is, he was born. That's, uh, that's for sure something that we can, we can, uh, be for sure of. You're talking about his eyes? Yeah. No, he wasn't born blind. Yep, everyone here is stupid geniuses. <laughs> when he was a kid, he got in an accident. Oh no. A really bad car accident. A car accident? He couldn't see after that. I don't know how that could have happened. His arm. His arm. His arm? Yeah. Wait. My brother's left arm is. Um. It's not like a normal person's arm. So that's what you meant whenever you said the dead body wasn't snake, and it's because of the arm, <laughs> the left it's arm. It's fake. It's not a real arm. It's it's a fake arm. The accident hurt him really bad. To save him, they they had to cut off his arm. <sighs> oh. So he's blind and he's missing an arm. <laughs> he's just too cool, uh -huh. man. Is that all you wanted to ask me? Uh, Look, I'm, I, that I'm was sorry very useful to information. You talk about all that painful stuff. Yo, you doing? Welcome to the stream, my man. How's it going? It's not that. I see that you have now arrived. I know, I know you weren't here for the other streams. I wish that I could explain what's going on to you. Ildorin. But I I couldn't I can't I can't really explain what's going on. It's too difficult. It would take forever. All right, turn it on. Eh, could could be better. Ah, oh. you're not you're not having a fantastic time. Well, hopefully now you are. <laughs> Power restored to experimental device. SR is busy? Oh, it's all good, man. It's all good. 
Emergency system will activate in the event of abnormal subject behavior. Okay. Power restored to experiment device. Ah, yes, that is. Turn that on. There are a whole lot of cables under this table. Junpei, this thing here is on now. Yes, we activated the power. Yeah, could you, could you like play with it a little? Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'll turn this dial out here, yeah. yeah just, yeah, just keep, just turn everything. It's not working. Nothing's happened. Uh, I should ask her to look around the room again. Okay. Uh, something sticking out of the mannequin's head, like wires or something. What were they doing in here? Was she all quiet now? They were doing experiments on humans. Probably. Oh man, now she looks sad. Ah, oh, jeez. Question mark? I can't really see it well from here, but it looks like there are a bunch of electrodes sticking out of his head. Okay. Maybe, maybe increase the voltage. <laughs> yeah, do, the, do that. Try again. Yeah, max voltage. That's a good idea. Uh, yeah, m m max voltage? Ah, uh, she. Oh. That doesn't sound good. Oh no. Oh my god! <laughs> the mannequin's head! <laughs> yeah, you just destroyed it! That's why you don't go to max voltage, you guys. That was a horrible idea. The emergency system will be activated. I evacuate the room immediately. Mannequin's head is on fire. Yeah, it looks funny, but there's, <laughs> there's no laughing matter. If we don't do something, Clover will probably suffocate. Junpei, it's so hot in here. Help me. Uh, um... Um... Grab something. The gate's still shut. Darn. Okay. I have no items. Oh, wait. The light's green! Open the door! The emergency system is activated and disabled the lock. Now we can save Clover. Alright, she's safe. Alright, let's leave. Hey, right, Clover's fine. What are you guys talking about? Cough, cough. Okay, maybe she's not. She's got she got tuberculosis. She's coughing so hard she can't even talk. Cop, cop. Oh, jeez. This isn't a general grievous origin story, maybe. Of course, I'm not all right. Little Tookie saw dog, you big jerk. I, well, I didn't think it was open. <laughs> I was almost dead. Ah, you were fine. Yeah, I was going as fast as I could. Let's get out of here. Let's leave. Found it. <sighs> Whew, thank God we got out of there. Yeah, finally. <coughs> oh, yeah. Oh. All right, let's go. Okay. Ah, let's just keep walking. Damn, none of these open. They're all locked. How about that one? Oh, well What's that up? this is the door with the prize. Well, no, that prize is just gonna Jimmy! lead us right back around. Huh? <laughs> June? Santa! S hey, what are you guys doing here? <laughs> what? But we didn't The door loops back around. Hey guys! Could you come take a look at this? Hey, on the wall. A map of the ship's interior? It says Sea Deck. So it's the map for this floor, then? 
Door seven, and door eight. Yep, they both eventually end up at this hallway. Fantastic. Yeah, isn't that what I said? Uh, no. We aren't going to be split up permanently till we find door nine. We might get separated for a little while, but we'll see each other again. Otherwise, we won't be able to open door nine. And that's how the nonary game works. That, yep, that is how the nonary game works. Wait a sec. This leads to... Oh! You've got to be kidding me. We may as well go. Yeah. Oh, I almost forgot. We should keep this. Uh, yes, keep keep the map. Ready? I'm gonna open it. I knew it. We're back. Yep, right back here. In the here hospital again. room. <laughs> I see. I believe I understand what you're saying. Mmm, that's because you already know the full picture here, Ace. I know you're not to be trusted. You can't be. The six of you split into two teams and went through doors seven and eight. Although, no, I... everything's been ruined. They killed. No, <laughs> this doesn't make sense. No, because he nobody killed nobody killed Snake then because Snake, the body of Snake for some reason is not Snake. You solved the puzzles in the operating room and the laboratory. And then met one another in the hallway after opening your respective locked doors. At any rate, I feel a bit silly for my little show of altruism. I know I said I was sure you'd come back for me. I didn't think it would happen so soon, though. Well, we saw each other again and we ain't dead, so I say that's good enough. Anyway, I said we get out of this creepy old place. Yes, let's leave. We found the key we need. The key? Ain't that what I just said? Yes. I'm talking about the Jupiter key. We found it in the operating room. Okay. Here. Whoa. <laughs> nice catch. Yeah, that's right. I'm good at catching things. Jeez. 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 I see. So this is Jupiter. So marking it down as Ace is zero and he killed Snake. Well, I mean, now, I mean, now the body that, that was a killed snake is now no longer snake. So, it, in that case, has Ace actually killed anybody? Because now I don't know anymore. I'm going to let you hold on to that, all right? Yeah, on it. And, and as for the person who slaughtered us all in the last thing... I have a theory that now in the other playthrough, uh, you know, like, uh, I actually, uh, uh, that's, that's still, that's still a bit too far fetched. I don't know. It probably, probably is. But I was, I was thinking like, like maybe the killer is just like a third party of some sort. Someone who's not necessarily a part of the game because I don't know, like, 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 yeah, you know, you could possibly think that, you know, yeah, you know, Zero just got fed up, just started killing everybody. But it just seems, it just seems ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, it just seems ridiculous that, uh, that, uh, you know, Zero would just kill everybody uh, after setting up this big old game, which makes me think that it's, like, just somebody else. A tenth person? Well, we already know the person with the zero bracelet. Uh, that's a big old dude. Uh, old dude who's already dead. Um, a tenth person. And really, there's only one suspect for the tenth person. There's literally only one suspect because there's only one other person that is more so of a rumor of, to be on this ship. And I don't know whether the silhouette of the person who killed me in the actual ending that is actually anything <laughs> ah twitch bot in chat yep it just got apps <laughs> that guy just got absolutely destroyed <laughs> he got destroyed by the by the bot so there it was just a rumor um it was just a rumor or it was said as a rumor but i'm not sure exactly if i should take it with a grain of salt or not but 
the same person who bought the gigantic Lord Gordain or something bought a coffin with a person in it who was like frozen. This is really the only thing like left like like you know is that this person is on this ship that's in the coffin somewhere because it, that that was uh, something that was happening in the in the ending um was that um you know they were talking about like eh, behind the sea of knowledge or something like behind the library or something like she would be there that that was where we thought she would be we were talking about with ace like right before we got to the nine door and then it just kind of got cut off uh yeah alice or all ice all ice yeah the ice nine stuff so i don't know i guess the theory is the theory is, is that somehow i mean like it's, it's like she's really the only suspect because i mean you know they really keep talking about how she looks like she's alive or something and all like the the stories about her and all that so uh, she's the only suspect i mean she's the only other character that it could be although the only thing that doesn't add up is why would she why would the first thing that she does whenever she comes out is just start murdering everybody that's the one thing that is kind of like the inconsistent part about it um that i'm not sure about i'm not sure why she'd just start murdering everybody well i've got something for you too then and of course i mean i guess you could say snake is a suspect too since snake isn't technically dead now or we assume he's not dead. We just don't know where he's at. He's blind. He's running off somewhere. I doubt he killed anybody. <laughs> but, you know, maybe maybe he did. I, I'm pretty sure he did. he's not the bad guy. He can't be the bad guy. No. So Alice killed not Snake and Cap? No, I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that Alice killed not Snake. And I'm not saying that Alice killed the Captain. I'm saying that. Alice killed just killed everyone she I I don't think she killed not snake and, and the captain I think I, I I don't know who killed those two I don't know who killed not snake and the captain there's no telling because Alice is on a she was on the Titanic we're on the gigantic we're on the gigantic Here, it's the Saturn key card. We which it in the kitchen. you know old dude you, you combine old dude Who's Lord Gordain, who said to, who they said supposedly survived the Titanic and through this trauma, like bought Titanic related things, which makes me believe that old dude, or fake Zero, I like to call him, maybe he's Lord Gordain. I don't know. I'm not sure. And I'm not sure why, why exactly Cradle Pharmaceuticals is doing all this nonsense. I might lose it. This is all too elaborate. <laughs> That way it won't be my fault if it gets lost. Well, Alice seems to have the higher body count, at least in that one inning. Yeah, there, there was another there was another name for Lord Gordain or something, or or they were they were talking about like you know, like people predicting the future, and like you know somebody like wrote like three books that predicted the Titanic sinking. I I don't know. I don't know to think about it i mean i that or the old guy i mean it seems like everybody here like everybody on this ship is involved with something in some way or another so unless there's some other old dude involved i mean i guess i don't know i guess it's just safe to say that old dudes or lord gordain because we haven't seen him actually be involved personally so uh, guessing guessing that he's alive in the first place because he was on the Titanic, so Yeah. On it. So how many unused keys do we have now? There's the Earth key we found in the laboratory. The Jupiter key you just gave me. And the Saturn key card from Lotus. Hmm. I'll keep them safe. The Jupiter key is supposed to be for the door at the end of that long straight hallway, right? I'm not I'm not sure if I'm like if I'm even relatively close to um the like you know the the big picture here. Yeah. I'm a I'm a guess that I'm somewhat close. If the map's right, then it connects to the central staircase. 
I'm no that I'm no Sherlock over here. Wait. I'm no Sherlock Holmes. What about door three? Look, you saw the map, right? It's the same as seven and eight. It could just lead us back to the big hospital room. There's no point to seeing what's on the other side of that door. There is a point. At least there is for me. Yeah, you're right. I'm sorry. Snake might be on the other side of door three. Yeah, so, well, yeah, well, yeah now we know that Snake is for sure. Well, I mean, yeah, you know, he's for sure hobbled around somewhere. Very well. I don't I'll know what he's doing. I've had a nice long rest. I think it's time I was up and about again. And honestly, I mean, while I do think Ace. Ace is, uh. So, Seven, you'll help me, won't you? What? I, I don't. I don't know anymore. <laughs> like, Ace is supposed to be. Like, initially, the thought was that Ace was the guy who killed Snake. But honestly, I'm not sure anymore. <laughs> Does that mean Ace killed not Snake? I'm suspicious of Ace. I've been suspicious of him this whole time, and I don't know whether the information that we got that that is not Snake that was exploded is concrete enough proof to just absolve Ace of his susness. Huh? Me? Damn. Well, I guess that's how it's gotta be. So I'm going with you, huh? Yes, you are. All right, let's get moving. And we st we still don't know. We still don't know Ace's actual involvement. Like like his actual full on link. Um. Of course, since I since I think he's evil, you know. He might be involved with the evil company, the Umbrella Corporation. Um, of course, Gordain and uh, the book author both came to the picture over 80 years ago. They might be dead, or maybe. Yeah, might be dead. Maybe. Maybe. Well the, book, well, the book author wrote the book before the Titanic sank, so it's safe to say that dude's dead for sure. Lord Gordain... Considering he was on the Titanic, then maybe, maybe. Okay, we're heading out. Be careful. Whoa. Didn't think I'd be hearing that from you, Lotus. Don't let it go to your head. I'd be in trouble if the three of you bought it. The rest of us can't open the nine door. Ah, the truth comes out. Okay, we're off. And also, like, it's hard to it's hard to tell, like, you know, what people's involvement is or like what Ace actually knows because literally everyone here is like the, an IQ of one eighty. So, like, uh, after watching that one scene of Ace sacrifice, like, quote unquote, sacrificing himself. Um, he grabs, he grabs, uh, like, like, you know, the drugs and such, and, you know, he knows, uh, like, Soparil Beta, he knows it's an anesthetic. I'm not sure if that's from him being, like, 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 as that's, like, useful information or not. I'll keep it in my back pocket for later, but I'm not sure if it's because every single character in this game has, like, a 180 IQ or that information is relevant to a potential link maybe because nobody else nobody nobody else knew what that drug what that drug was that he took but i mean he took it knowing it's an anesthetic so makes me think maybe he's a doctor maybe he's wise old wise old man doctor potentially a part of a pharmaceuticals company We should get moving too. Huh? I don't know. He he, he knows too much. He, he I mean, actually, who am I kidding? Everybody here knows too much except me. I know nothing. Get moving. Where are we going? Well, it would be a waste of time to just sit around, wouldn't it? Let me explain. 
Well, he's, I get maybe it. he's just wise old man. We're gonna man. see if we can get anywhere interesting with the Jupiter key. Yeah, uh, se seven's <laughs> seven is about the most wise old guy out of everyone in the group. I mean, come on, he's got all the qualities you'd ever want. He's like he's like Rocky, you know. He's too he's too cool. He's like uh, well, what, what is what is seven like? Seven's basically like Jesus or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what to compare him to. We'll just go with Jesus. Yes, if we're lucky, we might find Snake. And here's the Jupiter symbol on the keyhole. And then, of course, there's Good Pause's theory that that um, people like Good Pause was talking to me. His theory, his theory is that is that people. Like he's guessing that like people were faking their deaths, like like people were pretending to be dead, at, in that one ending, and the real killer was amongst the dead bodies. I and that that the ninth man is is been put together with flex tape. That's actually his his real theory here. I think mine's a little bit closer, but I mean he thinks we're getting like until dawn and there's like a whole bunch of faked deaths and such i think that would be kind of weird if that was the case all but. right junpei open it if you please i mean heck flex tape flex tape ain't gonna put ninth man back together i don't care what you say yeah on it great back to the beginning you sure this is a good idea flex tape i knew it he spoiled it all phantom yep you gotta have to ban him well, good pause is a little slow. <laughs> he is kind of, kind of. Don't turn him now. He's too busy doing his ACTs or uh, whatever they're called. What do you mean? Not the actual ones, the practice ones. Well, we already searched every inch of this room, didn't we? I'm asking you if there's any reason we came back here. That's because it's a cool room, that's why. Uh... Of course there's of a course reason. There's a reason. I, I can't remember. Man, sometimes I can't tell if you're smart or just lucky. Huh? Huh? This. The Saturn key card. And the Earth key? I'm lost. <laughs> Don't you remember, Santa? No, he's... On Sea Deck, where we are now, there was a big elevator behind the stairs, remember? Uh, the whole ACT stuff sucked. It turned out to be a big waste of time, too. Never needed it. Worthless. And next to the elevator, there was a card reader with the Saturn symbol on it. That's what I always say. It's useless. I've been saying it was useless. For a long time. <laughs> and on A deck, on the door to the left... There was a keyhole with the Earth symbol on it, I think. I'm not exactly sure what the ACT is supposed to prove or something. It just sounds like so it sucks. So the two keys that Jumpy has should let us use the elevator and the door on A deck, huh? Yes, that's right. All right, I got it. Let's get started then. What do you say we split into two teams? Lotus and I will search the Earth one, so you two can search Saturn. All right? Sounds good. Then you guys should take this key. We have no idea yes. what's on the other here side. Yes, here we go. Things. Wet time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, I had this scene happen so before. Go Is far. it going to happen again? Just search for 10 I hope so. Come back. I hope so. Please tell me There's it happens again. There's a next to the left elevator. Then let's try out this the best. That is card. the best. That is literally the best couple of lines of dialogue in this entire game. <laughs> I, I, I Great. hope it did. It looks like it's working now. All right, now how do I call the elevator? Oh, it only has the upside down triangle on it. <sighs> I guess there's no up button. If only pause could hear it too. Yep, <laughs> I wish you could, well, but he's not here. I'll try pushing this one. <laughs> oh, it's it's like my it's literally my favorite of this whole game, man. It's too good. It it opened. Look, Jumpy. Oh, sweet, it opened. Let's get going. 
Wait. What? 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 Uh, I'm not really, uh... I just... Uh, oh, gosh. June was probably afraid of... Being locked up alone with a boy. <laughs> well, um... We will be all alone in here. Yeah, we will. <laughs> Jumpy? Huh? Oh, huh? Uh, no, uh, it's not important. Yeah, it's nothing. Come on, let's go. <laughs> I said wait a minute. Oh, why? Aren't you afraid, Jumpy? Afraid of what? Well, I've never... You know. It's your first time? <laughs> I might get wet. <laughs> uh, oh, what? Down there. I get soaking wet. Context, please. Well, I, I mean, of course you would. That's the way it works. I mean, I've never heard of anyone getting soaking wet uh, somewhere else. That's. That's true. That is true. <sighs> you. Don't mind? Mind what? Getting wet. Well, uh, I don't know. I think I'd probably, um, you know, like it. <laughs> Gosh, Jumpy, you're so brave. Really? Uh, I mean, I kind of think any guy would do the same thing, you know? What happens, happens, right? I mean, if you get the chance, you've just got to go for it. I, that's what a man is supposed to do, <laughs> I guess. You're so cool, Jumpy. I really admire you. Uh, that doesn't really seem like the sort of thing you ought to admire someone for. I... I'm really scared. Yeah, I mean, like you said, you've never done it before. It goes on for so long and I love it. It's too good. Yes. So, I don't think I'll be able to last very long. And then it'll be... Over. Uh, over? Yes. I'll go to heaven. Heaven? Oh, I don't remember that part. It feels kind of like you're floating in space, and your mind gets all fuzzy, like when you pass out. At least that's what I've heard from people who have experienced it. Ah, uh, yes, I've, I've heard that too. Although I, <laughs> I don't think the same thing happens to guys. Wh what? Huh? Huh? But it would happen to men too, wouldn't it? It would happen to anyone. Once it gets into your body, the same thing happens to everyone. Oh God. Well, I, I mean, um, usually it, it, it doesn't go inside, but man, uh, I mean, generally. <laughs> yes, it does. What? Well, eventually it will. It's not like you really have a choice. Your body will force you to swallow some of it, eventually. Oh, God. What are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Nothing. I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm just saying that that's what happens. It's a psychological reaction to what you're experiencing. Oh, is that so? <laughs> I know most men probably have larger lungs, but even then, I don't think you could hold your breath for 20 or, or even 10 minutes. Eventually, you'd have to breathe, and then the water would get into your lungs. Ah, oh, finally, water has been brought into Once the that equation. Happens, your body won't be able to get oxygen anymore, and you'll start to feel that floaty feeling as you pass out. Uh. Huh. Huh. Oh. Uh. Hmm? <laughs> The sudden realization. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You wouldn't last very long. <laughs> See? <sighs> Come to think of it, the lower floor, it's the deck good, is completely man. underwater. An elevator heading to a submerged floor. It's my whole life a lie, Junpei. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. This elevator came up from somewhere under us, right? Um, well, yes, I guess it did. It didn't open right away after you pressed the button. There was a motor noise like it was moving, and then it opened. 
Yeah, exactly. Yes. So, take a look inside. <laughs> it's not wet at all, yep. is it? Not, not, the walls and even the floor are totally dry. Oh, you're right. They are. Well, let's test it. Test it? Yeah, watch this. Now, I'll just put one foot inside the elevator and look over at the buttons. Oh, there's only two. E and C. All right, I'll push E. I hope there's a I hope there's some dialogue like that in the other games. I'm re I'm really hoping there's just like at least like one like 5 minute line of dialogue. <laughs> in like each of the games. It has to be. Okay. Please. That's done. Now I'll just press the button again. Yep, not a single drop of water to be seen. See? See? Yeah. What does that mean? Just think, these two have been standing there for around 10 minutes talking over that. Yep. How can E deck be safe if the D deck is full of water? Well, here's what I think. Yep, that was, uh, life. Like, like, like life, a life threatening conversation. If it went on for any longer, we'd be, a, the we'd be in a pickle. Shaft and e -deck must we wouldn't have time. Watertight and separated from wherever the ship's been punctured. Here, uh, let me show you. Ah, uh, great drawing, Junpei. I see. So is that why the ship hasn't sunk? The other games are mixed bags. Yeah. Ah, uh, you don't you don't like the other games? You don't like the other games or is it like mix mixed bags just like I guess some of it's good, some of it's bad. The shape of the inside keeps it all from filling with water? Yeah, I think that's what's going on. So I'm gonna go down and check it out. You stay here, all right? Um, but... Come on, just do it, all right? I I'm coming with you! Oh, uh huh? Hey, wait! Are you sure it'll be your first time? They just had a 10 minute conversation about this. Oh, crap, it closed. I can't just let you go alone, you know. Ah, jeez. It looks normal. <laughs> I'll knock it off. It's just like I thought. This part hasn't flooded. The second one has the uh, the main character make lots of comments like that, but the rest of the cast are sourpusses. So all the conversations last like 10 seconds at most. Name. Uh, well, at least they compensate it by having a lot of comments like that. That's the positive. Like, there may not be as long as long of ones, but, you know, at least, at least you have it happen multiple times. I'd say that's that's almost like a worthwhile trade-off. You know, you have like you have bits and pieces of comedy spread throughout the entire story. Oh, and the third game's complete trash. Nobody likes it. <laughs> Nobody likes it. Come on, just look around. There's no water here. Maybe I'll like it. Maybe it'll be like. Maybe it'll be fun. It'll be it'll be amusing to me. I'm down to give it a try. <sighs> I mean, I got it in the bundle. I'm, I gotta play it. You're right. It's not flooded at all. See? But there's a whole lot of water. Yeah, right on top of us. What's gonna happen if the ceiling breaks? Well, we'd probably get really wet up there. Yeah, up there. Not down there, up there. Huh? At any rate, we should probably go back as soon as we can, once we're done looking around down here. Lotus and Santa might already be back. Okay, good idea. Now then, iron bars. Well, we can't go over there. Right. Then maybe. Well, it looks like there's a long straight hallway down this way. Something's written on the door at the end. Wait, is that? Let's check. 
The uh, the only thing I know about the last game is that you play the game from multiple perspectives. Um, which you know sounds cool. Sounds cool that there's multiple perspectives. I feel like that'll that'll uh give the game like you know a bit more variety. It didn't even get funded. Had to, <laughs> had to be a GoFundMe just to get it off the ground, and they blew the whole budget on 3D models for everything. Yeah, it does seem kind of like a that does seem kind of like a waste. I mean, but you know, hey, maybe 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 people like like three D models, you know. I mean, I know I'd like uh, some things to be animated or something, like cutscenes, not just like still pictures. So I I could see the appeal of why they'd of why they'd want to do that, but. I mean, I guess I guess their budget wasn't that high. I knew it. This is a numbered door. But we can't do anything with only the two of us. Well, it's a shame it had to be it had to get a GoFundMe. I guess that I guess that means there won't be a fourth game if literally the third game can even be properly funded. We better head back and let everyone know. Yes. Wait, what's this? And the models are still awful, runs at like 17 FPS. You know, I've played games that run worse. <laughs> 17 FPS ain't that bad. Is this the map for E-Deck? I should take it with me. So you guys found door one. Yeah, no fourth game. They set it up for one. Uh, but good luck with that. Yeah, that's... Uh, I guess that's like like the the problem with like jet Japanese games. Like I... Like... Um, they don't... They don't sell very well in the US. So I guess they don't get funded as well. Or funded as much. Like they, it's not going to get funded like... A, like, you know, like Detroit Become Human or something. Yeah, because it's just kind of like to a very, very specific audience who enjoys these types of games. Not to mention, I mean, it's also a visual novel, which is also, once again, another another thing kind of going up, up against it, you know, because they're both very small audiences that are into these types of games. Which is a shame, because this game's actually... Doors, the six door and the one door. This game's kind of gold. It's, it's kind of golden, you know. It's a diamond. It's it's a diamond in the rough, you know. It's a this this game kind of slaps, as the kids say, or on fleek, or I don't know what the term is anymore. I don't, I'm not which which one are we on now? You know, it is interesting that E deck wasn't flooded. Well, we don't really know if all of E deck is safe. We only checked the area around the elevator. Even so, it's still very interesting. You said the sixth door was there, right? Yes. And that means Zero planned all this out, even the sinking. That would have meant some pretty serious remodeling of the ship's interior. It's pretty mind-blowing when you think about it. Yeah, I wonder how long it took. I can't even imagine how much it must have cost. It would have been a ton, that's for sure. Well, that does go along with what Ace was saying. The most reasonable explanation would be that this was done by some organization with access to a whole lot of cash. Organization with access to a whole lot of cash, which we already know of a company that we don't know if they have a whole lot of cash, but they were behind the other experiment, which is very similar to this one, which is Cradle Pharmaceuticals. So it's not some organization anymore. It's just, it's, it's Cradle Pharmaceuticals. It's got to be. Um, I mean, people would have been would have been able to get through it. I'm sure we got through the second one. We all got through the second one, and it's out of nowhere. I switched to cheap 3D models, but the issue is the story writing in the third game was terrible. As in, they didn't even read the last two games bad. Uh, so it's more like a standalone title, or it completely breaks the lore is that like, like which one of those two things because 
both of those, I mean, they mean very different things. Breaks the lore? Ah, that's a shame. That is a shame. Yes, it does make sense. Hmm. 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 Um. They they can they can just spend a few more dollars to get the group grunts and darn. Yeah. Um, I don't think it's a very good idea to stay here. Oh, what, what makes you say that? Come on, that's not like the ship's sinking or anything. Yeah, you're right. Ace and his team might be back already. Well, June, Junpei, and I should be able to open door one. Huh? You guys leaving me behind? Just kidding. All right, let's go. We're not. We're not leaving you, Santa. you guys go feel free to add your own grunts if you want female grunts teal uh. <laughs> seven oh yeah i could i could be a voice actor come on hmm hmm that's seems to be a trend in uh in this game they, they like to add like just unified grunts single grunts uh uh <laughs> What's wrong? What happened? What the hell kind of question is that? Uh, what? Snake was... Snake is... Uh, well, well, yeah. Snake is... dead. It's you! It's Ace! He died, just as the ninth man did. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. He didn't... He hasn't... He, he's not found dead until now. Oh my god. That's not true, is it? <sighs> We should make sure. Yeah, right. We should. Wait. Not that way. What? Why not? I stuck a screwdriver in there to keep the door from closing all the way. It's not locked, so you can go in that way. Uh, where is, uh, where is he? Snake has gone snake eyes. Dagnab it. I can't believe it. The shower room. On the left side of the hallway. He's done for. He's gone. I put a broom in there too to keep the door open. That means we can get in without going through the numbered door, right? Yeah, that's right. Snake? 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 Then let's go. Snarky. It's not. <laughs> this wasn't open when we passed here before. Well, let's keep going. Oh, it smells horrible. Oh, yeah, this is pretty awful. I feel like I'm gonna puke. Oh, ooh. Oh, hmm. Where is he? Where's Snake? Snake? There. June, you should stay here. Oh, does this mean Junpei will realize that You'll now realize the the significance of left arm. Please just do me a favor. Being okay? real for some reason. All right. Oh, I'm going in. Eh. Uh. Uh. Oh, come on, add another one. Ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> just like Ace said. Nasty. Just like the ninth man. The detonator in his bracelet set off the bomb in his gut. I think you're overestimating Jinpei's brand. No, you can't. You can't remember that far. It's uh, that yeah, his his brain doesn't go past like five minutes in the past. So. Oh God, the the bone is coming out of his left arm. And this is where he says, "Wait, left it's arm?" Definitely an open fracture. No, no, Jinpei can't figure that out. Oh, the face, it's horrible. Yeah, you can't even tell who it is. But the clothes are... Yep, the clothes are snakes. No yep. mistake about it. It's snake. I mean, he did, yeah, I mean, come on. I mean, we're talking about some guy, this rookie over here, doesn't even know about prosopagnosa. 
No, see ya. What a stupid probably idiot. Murdered. Yeah, probably murdered. Chances are he was killed the same way the ninth man was. It's pretty straightforward. Not that hard to figure out how they did it. Yeah, what a... What a stupid... First, the killers got Snake to authenticate on the red to open door three. Then they shoved him into it. Alone. Wait a second. Wait. Wait. This does... <laughs> Snake's left arm is the one that has the bracelet. So how does it know if his heart rate drops to zero if it has nothing to actually... Like, scan anything on his wrist? It can't scan for a pulse or anything how does it know when the bomb is supposed to go off if it's on the left wrist and his left arm's fake I we waited nine seconds for the door to shut once that door shut it was all over for snake but it didn't give up now you're just big braining too much <laughs> how the uh, how he probably knew it wouldn't do him any good but probably ran into the shower room looking for the dead it was a small chance but it wasn't like he had anything to lose unfortunately it didn't work how is this happening <laughs> I'm big braining too much the detonator is only deactivated if everybody who authenticated when they went in uses the dead snake was the only one who went through the door yep zero zero didn't calculate that just like darn I put it on the wrong <laughs> The wrong person, so that's just and then put it on the wrong hand. Shoved in. What a what a stupid mistake. Yeah. That happened. I see. So that's what you meant by killers, huh? Zero done messed up. Said Snake's too powerful. You need at least three people to open one of the numbered doors, including Snake. So does that mean Snake's life is never actually in danger if he has nothing to actually send a signal? to his to the bomb in his stomach because it has nothing to actually measure outside of the reds it wouldn't open for snake and a single killer wait a second i just noticed this entire time you know snake's dead not a single person questions where is his bracelet they just immediately rule that out just like oh where's his bracelet Whereas we still found the bracelet intact on the ninth man. We don't see the bracelet over here. But... Macho sus. <laughs> he's he, he big brain too much. Me vote big brain caveman. <laughs> ooh, ooh. Big brain man sus. Yeah. No too much. Speak too. <sighs> that means we're looking at He kill. Well, just in case, I want to make sure. Let's say you're right. When do you think Snake was killed? When we all split up to look for the parts for the Reds, I think. Right after that was when we noticed he was gone. They found his bracelet, though. They never, they never mention it. They never mention he found his bracelet was found. Not, not, not a single person uh, here mentions that they, that they saw his number two bracelet. It doesn't doesn't show up on the screen. Nobody nobody mentions that they that they found it. The bracelet was in the flashback, but this bracelet's not on the body, or at least they don't mention the bracelet on the body. I don't think they did, did they? Also, his bracelet timer going off is what triggered the bomb too. Well, well, yeah, yeah. The the timer the timer is what what triggered it. But now there's the question, is it even Snake at all? That's the real question, is it even Snake? Because that's honestly the only way that Zero could have actually killed Snake, is if was through the was through the red. Because he put the he put the bracelet on his left hand. Because he did got no left arm. And that means none of us have alibis. 
We were all off searching the rooms we'd been assigned, looking for those parts. Yeah, that means anybody could be a killer. W wait a minute. What are you talking about? How can you say that so casually? You're implying that one of us is a killer. Oh, he's wearing the same clothes as Snake. Who else had a weird prince outfit like that? I, I that that I I can I couldn't tell you that part. He's wearing the same clothes, but yet we, but yet the bracelet, as far as we know, is not like. Like, is it a completely different bracelet? Is it an old body? Is there two snakes? <laughs> like, is is that what we're getting at now? Is like, what is there? Is there two snakes? They have a s secret twin brother. And that was actually what, what 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 would Snake's brother's name be? It's, it would be. Darn, I'm trying to think of something super clever. It's well, like a funny name, but I can't. I just nothing's I'm coming right, to mind. Then at least two of us are murderers. Why don't you calm down a bit, Seven? What are you going to gain by being so suspicious? That's what Zero wants, you know. And if it wasn't the two bracelet, the whole door math would be would need to be different to get it to open, right? Wait, what? Um. If, yeah, I mean, you know, who knows? I I couldn't tell you. I I mean, I don't know, this this whole part's just kind of throwing me off because it's it's now not it's now not snake. There is no bracelet. There's no remnants of a bracelet. He's wearing the same clothes as Snake. There's too many weird things happening right now. <laughs> Yeah, there's too, there's way too many weird things happening right now cuz I don't I don't because we know it's not snake. It can't be snake. Clover's evidence proves otherwise. And not to mention the thing's too specific. It's like what the game's not going to say left arm and then just say oops, I meant right arm. <laughs> right? No. What? Who knows not Someone I? Wants. You know, Shifty. We know. Shifty knows. Exactly. This game was set up by Zero, wasn't it? Also known as Ace. You know, you know, what's what's the number right next to Zero? It's one. Yep. Any game Therefore, is Ace a winner, is the killer. Whoever makes it through door nine is a winner, and those who don't are the losers. Zero is trying to make us fight against one another for that victory. Then you're saying that Zero is trying to split us up by making us fight each other? Yeah, the whole snake discrepancy thing, though. I mean, it's probably just like I, I'm. I'm probably accidentally finding like needless plot holes. I'm probably just like pissing people off just as we speak. Just like, ah, just like, uh, just like the stuff makes no sense. And I'm accidentally finding plot holes. But that's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for plot holes. Yes, that's not what I'm trying to do. That is why we can't let ourselves fall prey to suspicion. I'm trying to solve the case before we actually solve the case. We have to trust one another and form a strong bond of friendship. Zero's like, if I can't be zero, then I'll be the number next to it. Yeah, I mean, come on. Like, like what? What is he going to... Is zero just going to wear the number zero? No, he's going to give it to the old guy and then kill the old guy and make everyone think zero's dead. So what's the next best number you'd be if you were zero? You would be nine or you'd be one. You'd be able to go anywhere you want, basically. Be in basically any combination. And any group you please, if you have the number one or the number nine. But, you know, he got rid of the number nine because, you know, if the number nine, you know, like was the, um, if the number nine, let's say, you know, he wasn't the killer. I mean, his existence would, I don't know, I guess decrease the, like, uh, Everybody like having to be dependent on Ace, I guess. Because right now, I mean, Ace is just seemingly the most useful guy, at least to everyone else. Which puts him in a pretty perfect position to be not a suspect, but like, not to mention his act of altruism. 
So otherwise we'll end up ensnared by Zero's manipulations. Then does that mean that the person who killed Snake? Yes. Almost certainly Zero himself. Yeah, and I don't I don't even know. Is that Snake? Did Snake go travel back in time? I don't if there's anyone we Is he a out, time machine? Is he a time lord? I don't know. I have simple standard. If you're writing a story for people to try to figure it out, then your story can't have plot holes, only clues. Maybe false clues, but still clues. Otherwise, what's the point in trying to figure anything out? Exactly. Exactly. So I'm not I'm not really looking at I'm not I'm not looking for plot holes. I'm not trying to like be be a dick just like, oh, that's so realistic that would never happen or or like or like try to poke holes in the story. I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to I'm rocking my brain trying to figure out who the suspect is. He masterminded this game and kidnapped all of us. And Ace's personality, the calm, cool, and Doesn't collective type, the the leader, well. the leader type. I think, uh, at least from a writing standpoint, is the perfect candidate. The that lines up with being a bad guy. The story is pretty airtight. That's why I love it. Hmm. Good question. Mm -mm. Hmm. Good question. How airtight is the sequels? Hmm. If Zero killed Snake, then Zero is on the ship with us. Is there an explanation for <laughs> for the the? the wrist the the watch being on snake's left wrist left left hand when he has no left hand oh wait no it's not snake never mind is that just a vision of snake is snake the only person with it on the right wrist i don't know i never looked at snake's model at the beginning of the game because i started all the way back here Well, them, uh, yeah, yeah, that's not a good sign. I guess you have to find out. Cough, not the, not the third one. Cough. <laughs> I don't know. This third one sounds pretty amazing. This third one sounds pretty top notch. I think you're, I think you're out of your mind. But I don't. <sighs> Where could Zero be hiding? I mean, you know, even if it's bad, I, I mean, so long as it's not something that, like, you know, you hate or something. Like, you know, I'm sure, I, I'm sure it'll be enjoyable. I'm sure it's enjoyable. It's, I, I'm like, there's no way it's like Star Wars sequel trilogy bad. Like, like episodes seven, eight, and nine. There's no way it's that bad. Impossible. I think. I think zero. I agree. <laughs> well, that's possible. Um, we've already been through this. I'm just going to skip. Skip a little bit. Uh, hope you guys don't mind, but we've already been through this part uh, two times now, I think. Here it is. Where are we at? Okay. You actually still people... You still tell people to go play the third one, though? Um, just so they can see how bad it is. Then they can join the rest of us in having watched it and ignoring it from canon. The Mercury card reader. It's that bad, is it? <laughs> I mean, I saw the trailer. I saw the 3D models. Like, the 3D models, like, they don't look good. <laughs> they they do not look good. They don't. Um, I'm not sure how much money they possibly spent on it. There's no way is that much. They the budget must have been very very low. Uh. Looked like something from like. 2006 or something looks like something like a game from the Wii We're using the card seven gave us right Kind of like a kind of like telltale game graphics, but like significantly worse and less detailed Yeah 
But I'm not I'm not really someone who like really nitpicks about graphics though. I mean, you know, I'm I'm all cool like not having good graphics. Like I love older games. That's why I found it when we were checking out the shower room. Usually what I play. <laughs> I think Seven said something like that. Anyway, let's see what happens. I guess the elevator works now. But that's mostly because games nowadays just really, really suck. Jumpy, I know it's only the two of us, but let's do our best. Like nowadays, all they got is like what they have battle royale, and they have uh, they they got battle royale, and what else? That's that's literally it nowadays. Uh, if only they did it like the second one and use 3D model characters on image backgrounds. Oh, so the characters were 3D models, but the background was it was an image. Honestly, I think I'd. I mean, I think I'd prefer like almost it being reversed. I would. I would be fine with the 2D characters and having like more of a 3D space that you could go around. What's with you all of a sudden? Well, I'm happy we were put together. <gasps> uh, you know it's just for searching E-Deck, right? Even so, I'm glad I'm with you. That's hot. Oh. oh. First, we need to find out if the elevator comes up full of water. Just like we did before. Wow, that's a great idea. We should oh, gotten that instead. <laughs> they wanted to try new things, Shifty. Maybe I mean, maybe we'll maybe we'll get a fourth game, and it'll look better. Maybe, just maybe, maybe a fourth game. You can only hope for one. I knew it. It's not wet at all. I mean, I've never played Dag and Rampa, but I mean, you know, maybe with the, the maybe with the money the company gets from the their Dag and Rampa series, they can throw some towards the next installment of this. Let's go. Yes. Look. Nearly all of the buttons are destroyed. Yeah, only the C and bottom button can be pushed. We're on C deck right now, so the only one we can choose is bottom. And also, doing 2D characters as opposed to 3D characters, uh, it just, it seems uh, like it's, it could be um, a lot easier, at least like, like, you know, from like, like art for artists, I'd assume. It'd be a lot easier for an artist to create a 2D model than a 3D model. And like creating a 3D space honestly should not be that hard. That's like... Creating a 3D space should should be probably pretty easy. I, I'd assume. I don't know. I don't create games. Yeah. Well, let's try it out. Dag and Rampa died off after the third after game three too, so you doubt it. Yeah, but people still like Dag and Rampa, right? I, I mean, I mean maybe. This is the bottom deck. Well, you know, I, I mean, I guess, you know, it just happens, you know? Games, they just run out of ideas, you know? They run out of ideas, so they just, like, they try to compensate their lack of ideas for, like, for, like, just, like, adding, adding other stuff into the game, like 3D models and such. Make the game look... Or attempt to make the game look more visually appealing to compensate for their lack of ideas. People don't like the third one. It became a split. Uh, became the split community game. Okay, so people. So half people liked it. Other half didn't like it. Hey, over there. This is a numbered door. 
Good eyes, June. You are my number two for a reason. This is oh, I know that's Snake. We found. Snake. Snake's the number two. Yeah. There were two numbered doors on B deck near the central staircase. They were doors four and five. Yes, we. Yep, yeah, we know. We we know. We've got to this. Three more in the large hospital room. Ah, oh wait, ah yes, I see what we're doing. We're we're running down the doors to figure doors out what three, doors seven, are left. And, eight. and the door we found on E deck, and the door Lotus and Santa found on A deck. It was a six on the door on E deck, and a one on the door on A deck. Hmm, it's a number door, but what number could it be? Hmm. That means. Do you think the next door we find? <laughs> That's something that I just I love about this game. Like, it just has those moments, just like where they literally just state the obvious, and nobody talks about how they're stating the obvious. And then my character talks and says something stupidly obvious, and then everybody just uh, hounds me, just like, just like, whoa! Of course you didn't know that. Are you stupid? <laughs> you don't know what prog. <laughs> Let me scroll up. Pro, pro, pro yeah, prosopognosia. Yeah, I think so. The next one's gonna be door nine. Finally! Yeah. The next one would be door nine? You don't look very happy about it, though. It's not that. I just hope nothing goes wrong. Please. Wait. Did I make an error? I feel like I'm going down the exact same path. No, I, no I'm not. No. I'm not. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, am I? Eh. Eh, okay. It's a byproduct for the PC version's ADV mode? What, it's, it, it's, it's because of this that everybody's just like, I mean, they're, they're brain dead, but not brain dead at the same time. You're right. We should keep our fingers crossed. Like sometimes they have 2000 IQ, other times they have like a four. Let's head back. Okay. One, two, three, four. Well, I don't know. Maybe, right. maybe that's just Seven how. Pieces. Maybe that's just how visual novels are. And I don't. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I can imagine, like, visual novels, it's important to be as specific and as concise as physically possible dialogue is important the most important thing in a visual novel outside of the story yeah yeah make sure you're able to convey the you got to make sure you're able to convey the story in a way that's understandable especially with voice actors and such the og version was written like a book some pictures here and there yeah yeah there, there was no there is no voice actors in that one now i don't think i don't i don't think i'd be able to play that version <laughs> I mean, I'm fine with reading here and there, but, I mean, reading the whole game. Just uh, double checking, but everyone wrote their code name and a door number they want, right? I made my style. Oh, I just realized we never actually got to this segment. We never got to this segment. Uh, because of what what happened whenever I chose door number three that I never actually got to this segment in the game. So they used a lot of descriptions and places and people and actions, but Oh, yeah. Describe what they're doing. Yes, just like you told us earlier. I can't believe we're voting here. We need to make the whole thing fair, blah de blah. This is a complicated plan, you know. Well, we have to. Oh, who am I kidding? Hurry it up, Mr. I have a brilliant idea. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Quiet this is a good idea. Gallery. Well, I'm not. I'm not going with Ace because Ace is just gonna shake me down as soon as we get in the same room as one another. Like, hey, I'd want to talk to you. <laughs> like, ah, just as I suspected. Mm. All right. Let's open these up. The first one says, Ace requests door one. Yeah, Ace requests door one. Yes, I do. Would you like me to explain why? Please, no. You're gonna... 
please. You're gonna extend. Like it's gonna be like a 15 minute explanation. No, we no. don't have time for that. Sorry. Let's keep going. Next is Santa. He wants door six. Okay. Yeah, it's what I wrote. Clover wants one. Lotus wants two. And Seven also wants two. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, there is no way I'm going anywhere with the Elephant Man. <laughs> hmm, Junpei, you're trying to make some moves on Clover, huh? Good luck, then. No, Ace, no, Ace, yeah, yeah, that, that is literally Ace, the smile emote. It's like, I'm not suspicious, smile. No, there'd be no point to the voting if we let people change their choices because of stuff like that. Wait, like heck, I go like the first room, the first puzzle room that I have with with Ace in it. He keeps coming into the wrong room that he's not supposed to be in, right in the middle of me having a conversation, almost as if he's trying to get in and listen in. Uh, but uh, just give it up, Lotus. And I guarantee you, I guarantee you, I don't go. If I if I don't go into door one, something bad is going to happen to Clover. It's not like I want to hang out with some exhibitionist grandma. I am not an exhibitionist. I'm wearing clothes. I mean, I'm not trying to say like Ace is a is a bad guy or anything. I'm just saying, you know, Barely. it's possible something could happen. Barely. Please look, look. See, you got you got the this right here. That's some clothes. You got whatever that is. That's probably clothes. You got you got that little red thing down there. That's some, uh, there we go. We got the bracelet and we got the the yeah that that. So last I checked, that's not a crime. Ace, Ace is just pure. Maybe. He's what about pure evil. Decency? Nobody wants to have to look at a chick who looks like a half-naked raisin. I don't know. Like you, these, these people. I don't. I don't. I don't get this joke here. All right. The joke is that she's old, but she does not look old. I do not see any sag here. I. Is this old in Japan? I. She's like thirty-five at most. It's all makeup? No, it's 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 more than makeup to get rid of sag. It's like like just just stapled staple all the skin back. I mean we never see we never see the back of her. Maybe it's just like a bunch of clothes pins and and staples. Yes, thirty is old in Japan. How? Oh, I'm gonna kill you! How? And who's this guy talking about old? This guy's the easily the oldest person here outside of outside of Ace. Like Ace is probably like late forties. This guy right here is late thirties, early forties. She's early thirties, mid thirties. Oh, not good. It's like more like middle aged. Junpei, read the rest. <laughs> Hello, I'm here. Welcome, good paws. What's happened? Um, what's happened? Uh, you missed uh, you missed this little middle part right here uh, that we didn't explore before. Basically, uh, we learned that uh, Snake's left arm is not real. His left arm was amputated in a car accident. So. Snake's left arm is fake. That's what we learned. Um, and also, uh, Lotus is insane and knows how to use the home row. And she brute force. Uh, right. June wants door six. And right now, we're... Right now, th this has already happened before for me. But right now, um, we're suspicious of each other. So, to... To, like, you know, make it everything left at the chance everyone wrote down secretly on pieces of paper what door they want to go through ace yes, uh well, they're gonna I don't recap really have a so reason. i just felt like it so this was everyone's vote 
Ace and Clover requested door one. Something bad is going to happen if I don't if I don't go there. I something bad is going to happen. I went there last time, but I just have a bad Sunday feeling about this. Door two. To put in the words of George Lucas, I have a very bad feeling about this. Seven and Lotus want door two. Santa and June requested door six. Santa and June and want the door, door six. I should choose is... Okay, the last one is mine. Okay. I want to go through. Went through door one last time. I want to go into door six. I want to go through door six. Gotta stick with June. That's a problem. What? What? What's the problem? None of these teams will be able to go through the doors they want. <sighs> Clover and I chose door one. Lotus and I chose door two. That's not enough people to open a numbered door, however. Uh, Ace, you're not you're not coming with me, Ace. The digital routes don't match up either. We've got similar problems. June, Junpei, and I want to go through door six, but our digital route is five. If we're gonna open that door, we need a one. No! Of course, of course we need a one. Damn, what are we gonna do now? <sighs> what are we going to do? Hmm. <sighs> Why don't Seven and Lotus go through door one with me? Yeah. <sighs> I mean, that works. Uh, what about me? No. God, fine. Isn't that obvious? Wasn't one of the teams just complaining that they didn't have a one? Yeah, yeah. Ace detective over here. Oddly enough, this game is set in the USA, but Junpei and Akane are both Japanese. Oh, oh, Junpei, Akane, Jap... Wait. Clover and Snake are not born in the USA, but do live there. Seven is an out-of-state person. Ace and Lotus... I don't know, USA me. Yeah, I, I don't... I don't understand it. I, I mean... I, I, I don't get it. I don't get it. <laughs> we don't we don't we don't question Japanese games when it comes to locations and characters. Okay. It's like it is what it is. Alright? We're set in the US. Everybody here is American. They must be. You see? Ace, look at that hairstyle. That's American. <laughs> you mean I should join Santa's team? Both him and the in the suspicious trench coat. Yes. Huh. Also, is there like AC running here or something? Because let me tell you, if this place doesn't have AC, no, he'd be dying in this thing. He would be he would be on the floor dying of heat exhaustion. He's wearing a turtleneck. Eh. So wait, Snake, where is Snooki? Uh, yeah. Um. Snake. Snake is not, probably not the snake. Snake is probably not the snake that was blown up. I understand. I'll go through door six then. So I, I'm at a, I'm at a lack of understand. I, I don't understand what's going on. Junpei has bubble jacket on. Yeah, everybody here has, everybody here has like 80s, 80s style or something. Like, yeah, Junpei's wearing that, that like, Marty McFly jacket. He's got the whole Marty McFly getup. He's got the plaid shirt. He's got the bubble jacket. If we do as Clover has suggested, we can all pass through a numbered door and no one will be left behind. I mean, all we're missing, all we're missing is just Dr. Brown just skirting in here on the on the DeLorean and I just says, oh, um uh what what is his name? What is his name? Uh, uh Marty <laughs> We gotta go back to the future. <laughs> and then it'd be, then it would be back to the future. The real shields. So yeah, I, I'd have, I'd assume seven was, I mean, seven said he was a cop of some sorts maybe he was undercover that's really the only way to explain anything 
for seven. Akane, I mean, sure, hers is pretty stylish. And Lotus, uh, very stylish. This seems to be the most reasonable solution. Seven, Lotus, what do you guys think? I don't have a problem with it. Well, I know you don't have a problem with it, Seven, because you just don't care. Not me either. All right, then. We're good to go. See you later. See you. Wait, Clover, don't move on your own. Oh, I'll be going too, then. Oh, wait a second. You think if I take too long, if I take too long, like, no one was murdered over here. Everyone was murdered over here. Do you think, uh, why do you think bathroom snake is fake? Because, uh, Clover literally told us that snake's arm was amputated. Um... And a characteristic of the body was that he had a broken left arm. And Snake has no left arm. So, uh, what I'm concerned about is that every single ending, we might die. Because I'd assume the soonest, the soonest ending that we got was this one right over here. So what I'm concerned is, is that what happened over here with the submarine ending is going to be very similar to all these other endings. And someone is just going to come up and they're just going to come murder us all. And we're just not going to know what to do. Yeah, be careful. We should get going as well. You think there's only one good ending? This is E-Deck. I'd, I think, I think there's only one good ending. I mean, I, I'd assume that's how, how it's rigged. I mean, it's less so one good ending and more so one true ending. Huh? Got, wait, what? There should be a door at the end of the hall. Got it on my first try. What did I get on my first try? Or are you saying this is the only to be continued one? Is that, is that what you're saying? You're saying this is the only to be continued one? There's not other ones that I need uh that I need information for? Is that what you're trying to say? All right, let's go. Here it is. You guys ready? Yeah. You're not saying anything? Hmm. You know. You are. You are. I can't I can't remember what that was responding to. <laughs> and let's get to it. I don't know. I guess I'm. I mean, if that is the. Hey, I found it. It's right there. If that is the true ending over there, then. Then I must be a pretty slick decision maker, even though I literally can't do anything with that ending. Which, once again, it's a clever way to design a game. It's so then you don't fin it like truly finish the game until you finish it. <gasps> <sighs> oh wait, no, that was one that was one stopped. too late. Yes, it stopped. Whew. I don't believe I'll ever get used to that. Well, we have Ace with us, so that almost guarantees nothing bad will happen. I'm not sure it's something I'd want to get used to. We should finish this, this game before the game because imminent death becomes a normal day. thing. You got that right. Yep. Once I'm out of this hellhole, I'm taking a nice long vacation. <laughs> I agree. All right, let's go. Almost. This door looks heavy. But it's not locked. I'm opening it. 
A non-locked door? Whoa, what uh, the hell is this? I died here last time. This has to be the biggest room so far. The ceiling is pretty high, too. How would you rate it, Junpei? Is it a 3.5 again? Huh. Come on. Could be two stories. Maybe even more. This space could be utilizing the entire length of the ship. Yeah, good pause. You missed the let you missed the best part. You did, you missed the best part. It's a shame. What's that huge Kamaboko looking building in the middle? I can you please tell me what that is in English? Kamaboko? <laughs> well, I guess that's as good of a description of it as any. I don't know what that is. I see stairs. So we may as well head over to them. Yeah, but this section's barely wide enough to fit one person. You're right. Whoa, you can't even tell the shape when you're this close. Oh uh, yeah, good pause. I yeah, good pause. I I told I told everyone here your crazy theory that the ninth man flex taped himself back together and and uh yeah, he's he's just hobbling around. <laughs> yeah, come on, come on, go. Well, no, I'm saying that it could have been. It's you see, it's kind of like rigged, like you know, like, like if you go into door five, Ace would take the zero, the zero band, and you would have the one. And then you'd have snakes too. If he goes into the fifth room and you go into the fourth room at the beginning of the game, Ace takes the number nine band, and then it's then it's nine, one, and two. So no matter which which decision you end up choosing, Ace will always end up having the numbers that he needs, well, at his disposal to unlock the number three door to throw in snake but now my entire theory has been thrown out the window because now apparently snake is not dead and so that says the question who is the dead person because honestly i don't i don't know anymore let's check out the other side too i have no clue who the this dead person this looks to be is. the steam engine room The steam engine room? Yes, that thing that looks like a cross section of a mushroom is the boiler. Wait, cross section of a mushroom? Why you that? You see the three round doors near the bottom? Yeah, exactly. Good pause. That's the thing that's throwing me off too, because that completely throws away my theory that that. <laughs> That, you know, Ace would be the killer. Because Ace, I mean, I mean, he's basically absolved at this point. I don't even know what to do anymore. Like, like if Ace didn't kill that person, then that means that person must have been killed some other time. But then again, he's wearing the exact same clothes as Snake. We don't know if he even has the bracelet on him. He... <laughs> I don't know anymore. We have the same color, you should change that. Yeah, good pause. Please, please, good pause. Just like go into your like your name settings and choose and choose a color that you like so then you don't just spawn in with a random color. Oh no. Coal is put into those and burned, which heats the water, producing steam. Fixed. Fantastic. Wait, your color's still the same? No, it's different now. It's like some... I don't know, I'm colorblind. It's like purple-ish. The same thing that drives a steam engine. This one is simply somewhat larger. I see. It doesn't appear to be running right now. All right, let's split up. Yeah, so I mean, I, I guess Ace is confirmed not murderer. Hey, what's wrong? Are you all right? Wow. Hey, June. Jumpy. Jumpy? That's me. You Oh, you're you're really warm. Is your fever coming back? Yes. Yes. It probably is. But 
I'm fine. Please, don't. I just need to rest. I skipped a line I'm, on I'll accident. I hate it when I do that. Okay, okay. Uh, here, sit down. Uh, careful. Thank you. Ace, Santa. Yes. Right. All right. Let's get started. Unless Clover is lying about her brother's arm. Impossible. Hang in there, June. I'm going to get you out of here real soon. There's a way to go back if you want. Go back. I don't want to go back. Oh, wait. Oh. Ah. Whatever. I tried. <laughs> Good pause, you literally have the most insane theories on the planet. What next? Are you going to say Thanos is actually behind the whole thing? And actually halfway through the game, everyone just gets Thanos snapped and that's the true ending? Okay, let's... Okay, we got, we got some holes here. Yeah, I'm yeah, good pause. I've been I've been thrown off too. I don't I don't know what the theory is supposed to be anymore. I guess the one thing <laughs> How could I caught it? Yeah, did I read did I read wiki spoilers? Uh um Oh no. I'm be I've been made. I'm be I've been caught red-handed. It's going orange. It's gotta mean something. I guess pressing it is the best way to find out if it does anything. Hmm. Nothing. Alright, fantastic. Cross section of a mushroom. Don't see it anywhere. What is what are these descriptions? Hey, you know, that totally looks like a cross-section of a mushroom. Hey. Look, Ace. It's some kind of snowman secret meeting. Those are just bags full of sand. Use them as counterweight when you're lifting something with a pulley system. Man, you're too serious. Unless she did it. Wait, Lotus and Clover could have went in him. Maybe your old theory is right. I, no, I, I refuse to believe that that is, I refuse to believe that Clover would kill her own brother. <laughs> It'd be nonsense. What is this? Silver gear. And it appears silver. Yeah, be steel or iron. Yeah. Ugh. Shouldn't have called it a silver gear then. Yeah. Shouldn't have gotten your hopes up. You think you'd haul this thing back? Yep, seven could carry it. You're right. You're right. Gear is rusted but sturdy. Uh, hmm. This place sucks. A oh, golden gear. Clover and Lotus went into room through with Snake, killed him, then Clover is the one who knows the most about Snake, lies and tells us it can't be him. You have the craziest theories, good boss. Looks like there's a door over here in this tunnel. Belt over there must deliver the coal, which is then picked up and thrown into this door. The door appears to be welded shut, however. Huge oven for this boiler. There are three open areas in it. Each open area has a gear in it. So for no reason, how good are you, are you, are you at making digital roots? I am not good. <laughs> not good. In fact, everybody else just does the does the problem solving instead of me. 
so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> There's a barrel under the stairs. Sweet. Unfortunately, it's empty. Dag nabbit. All right, well, this is... This is terrible. <laughs> what kind of room is this? Uh, you know, I'm confused. Well, that's not good to hear. That, oh, that's, that's totally fine. Digital root. Digital roots. Sliders down. Guess Ace feels like giving a try. Hmm. Nothing. It won't move at all. Fantastic. Let's try this one. A number of lines engraved in these. I suspect we are meant to do something rather specific with them. Jinpei, why don't you move that slider down? Sure. There's no harm in trying, I suppose. It worked. Nothing. Nothing happened. Just be prepared somehow. If you're saying we, if uh, you're saying if we did something somewhere else, it'd be response somehow. Go. Fantastic. All right. All right. This map is too big. The door's on the furnace. There's an A on it. It's noisy, but it opens. It's pitch black in there. This looks just like the door we went into. Everything looks the exact same. And if you're wondering... How could Clover possibly kill three people in the sub ending all her own? She didn't have Lois there to help. Well, I got good news for you. There's a third person that can also go into any room without breaking the... It was the ninth man helped Clover kill Ace. <laughs> Your entire theory is literally dependent on, whether, on the ninth man. What is with you and the ninth man? All right, well, this is just confusing. Bunch of stuff in our way. Junpei, where do you think you're going? Oh, yeah, that's right. There's a closed number door. You got some crazy theories there. Good pause. A whole bunch of boxes in my way. I can't get through. Box in the catwalk. Well, it can include or not include the ninth man, depending on how good Lotus and Clover are with the weapon. Maybe they're better skilled to kill than meets the eye. <laughs> yeah, just su suffocated them with the big old, the, the tiggle biddies. Yes, turn the wheel. What? It's weird. I don't feel any resistance. Oh. Oh, we got a wheel. Don't know what to do with it. <laughs> to be fair, boss, an exploded chest cavity and guts thrown everywhere is a very easy thing to fake, am I right? Yeah, it's just strawberry jelly. Yeah, strawberry jelly. 
Yeah. Some pork. Ninth man or not, new theory involves Clover and Lotus being the killers. I don't feel like changing my theory. My theory remains the same. I just, just now there's holes in it. <laughs> my theory remains the same. There's just a million holes in it. Because now I don't know where Snake is. Ah, the sea ore. Let's go in here. Let's turn this. Good work, Junpei. <laughs> I'm sticking to the theory of knowing the truth and nothing but the whole truth. So Shifty, whose theory is closer? Mine or good poses? <laughs> you don't have to say whose is right. Say which one's closer. <laughs> Yours is? Damn it. You got me. How could I forget the third option? Yeah, I mean, you know, you brought up, like, exploded people from previous trials. But, I, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's possible. But I don't know. I don't know anymore. Why are you counting on me for going down a set of stairs, Ace? I'm counting on you, Junpei. Dot, 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 dot. I believe the box has reached the floor. Yeah. June's down over by there. She doesn't seem to be improving. Well, of course not. She's not gonna just get better right away, you know? It'll take time. What could be causing this, I wonder? Illness, perhaps? Nah, it's got to be exhaustion. Or maybe we've just been thrown through a loop the, this entire time, and Zero is actually none of them. <laughs> and we're just, we're literally doing exactly what Zero wants us to do. And that is be suspicious of each other. <laughs> and the ninth, the ninth man. <laughs> no. The ninth man was Zero all along. He offed himself right in the start. Brilliant! Uh, you like your new theory a lot? Now I just wait for another BS plot twist to throw it off the rails. <laughs> I'm sure that'll happen for you, good buzz, but... Uh... I don't know. She gets dropped into some weird-ass ship, forced to play some messed-up game. If you think about it, it's a lot weirder that we aren't freaking out just like her, you know? So you're saying we're abnormal? Yeah. I'm saying you're abnormal, Ace. We're just running around this room, solving all these puzzles like it's just business as usual. How the hell could you call that normal? We're just getting Yeah, doc, Dr. Brown, you know, Dr. Brown's gonna, gonna sh shoot through the walls. He's gonna say, Marty, we got to go back to the future. A guinea pig. You mean like a lab rat? You mean we're being used for some sort of experiment? Is that what you're saying? Dunno. But it does seem like a possibility, you know? You know, speaking of experiments... Great Scott! We're on the Titanic! 
There was this experiment some scientists did with uh, rats. Oh, sorry, the, the gigantic. The gigantic. First, the they took a squarish C-shaped tank. Okay, what are we talking about? water that the rats could drown in it. Ah, uh, jeez, what are we talking about now? The tank has two exits. Just to make it easy, we'll call one A and the other B. Exit A is pitch black. So dark, even a rat can't see anything. But exit B is electrified, which means the rat can't leave through it. So, what would a rat do if it was put in this situation? Which exit would the rat choose? The rat would choose the electrified gate, because rats are stupid. B, of course. The rat has no way of knowing that exit B is electrified. Exactly. The rat goes to exit B. Of course, like I said, it's electrified. Which means the rat can't get out that way. So, after a lot of trial and error, the rat finally finds exit A. Hmm. I can't say that's very interesting or relevant. It's simply the story of Junpei, a laboratory experiment. you got to go back to the Titanic. The gigantic. It's the gigantic. Can't say that's very interesting or relevant. Please, Ace, every, just about everything that you say is not very interesting or relevant. You're right. It isn't very interesting. Yet. Hmm? See, these scientists repeated this experiment over and over, using hundreds of different rats over several generations. This produced some surprising results. With each generation, the rats took less time to find the correct exit. Eventually, a rat was put in the tank who instantly chose exit A without even attempting to go to exit B. But that wasn't the most impressive part. The same experiment was conducted in another laboratory, far from the original one, with the same results. No, on second thought, the results weren't really the same. It's back to telepathy again. The rats in this second experiment began the trials with significantly faster times than the first rats in the initial one. These rats weren't related to the others and had never even come in contact with them. And yet, they all easily found their way to exit A as though they already knew. What did it mean? Are you suggesting something like telepathy? Yes. It's, I mean, come on. I mean, we talked about telepathy for a pretty good part of the game. They were passing information to one another through some undetectable medium? Ah, dang, there was like a there's like a word for it that Lotus was talking about. I can't remember that. <laughs> How the hell would I know? I'm not any kind of scientist. I don't know what made him do that. But I do know that story's true. And if you've got another explanation, I'd sure love to hear it. Hmm. Come on, let's get going. There's still a lot here we haven't checked out. Wait, hold on a second. Why did we even stop to talk about that? And we gotta get the hell out of here before June passes out. What? what? Hey, wait. There's something I want to ask you. Yeah, like what even... Where, 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 why? Why? Why did they use that tank for the experiment? Huh? Well, I mean, it seems like you could conduct the same experiment without the water. Hmm. They could have just used a dry box, you know? If they needed to motivate the rats to escape, they could have, I don't know, put some bait by exit B or, or something. I mean, do they really have to make it so the rats can drown? You know, the word emergency comes from the same root as the word emerge. Hmm. You ever think about that? No, I don't, because it who thinks about that. Huh? Well, an emergency is something urgent, often something dangerous. Hmm. And to emerge means to sort of come out, or appear, or rise out of something else. So what's going to emerge in an emergency? Inspiration. Inspiration? Yeah. Think about it. When the chips are down, either you crack or your mind focuses and pulls up what you need. So in an emergency, your real potential emerges. Mm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. That's why the rats had to drown. They had to be in danger. There had to be an emergency for inspiration to emerge. Don't forget the Titanic carry a mummy Alice and its shipper sister ship stuff. Or the 
whole frozen Alice across the desert, that melting. Everyone seems to talk about that odd stuff. Yeah. Well, I don't know why everybody just has random knowledge. Like, hey, yeah, you hear that that theory? Everybody here's hearing the exact same theories from everyone. Like, like it's, it's that's it's just ridiculous. And then random old dude Lord Gordain buys Mummy Alice. Oh. Okay. Great. Uh, why did we do that? Every, everyone here visits the same Reddit page. Yep. I believe it. Huh. Control panel. Some kind of machine. Maybe a control panel. Ah, very observant. Ah! Goes to here. We found the link between them all. At last! Yep, that's the that's the link. It's the link's just a Reddit. Alright, sweet. You just heard something turn on. The conveyor belt's moving. I can't look. It's because nothing's allowed to move in this game. It has to be a still picture. I forgot. They can they couldn't have they couldn't add a a moving uh, JPEG image. Oh wait, no, there's another word for that. Ah, dang, I forgot about it. I, I forgot the word. Um, looks like a bunch of it got dumped off at the end of the belt in that wooden box where we found the control panel. Coal. Coal. All right, well, we got coal. Box filled with coal. A hook. Um, all right, well, where do we go now? Maybe this door will open. Nope. Now turn the coal into diamonds and use them to cut your way out. <gasps> How could I have not thought of this? There's a small door on the side of this tunnel. It's welded shut and won't open. Fantastic. What about this one all the way down here? Nothing. I'm sure you have time for that. Yep, we got like, what, three hours? Five hours? Oh, I can't remember. Let's try this door. It's welded shut, won't open. Okay, all right, let's try this one. Small door on the other side of the tunnel. It's welded shut and won't open. Let's check this one. Oh, oh nothing. <sighs> Why? Then where do I go? I always knew Jimmy Neutron would help save the day. Jimmy Neutron. shooting stars from my hammy bar. for attention. And a super powered mind. A mechanical canine. Bark, bark. Let's go through the B door. Nothing!
This is really only one thing we can do with this stuff. Yep, literally only one thing, but everything's welded shut. So I can't even do anything with the furnaces. Hey, wait, Jimmy Neutron, the Jimmy Neutron theme fits perfectly with the Spider-Man theme and the Teen Titans theme. What? No, wait, what? No, it doesn't, does it? No. No, it's impossible. All right, let's try this now. Nothing happens. All right, let's try this one. Now you. Locked in place. One great metal ribs of the ship. Full of glowing embers. I've already clicked on it. It's rusted shut, I'm afraid. You could check the other side. I can check the other side? Am I able to? Let's try going this way. Well, I don't know. I don't know, man. Boop. Nope. Can't boop any buttons. All right, let's see if we can get to the other side then. Can I go down? Oh. Uh, any downwards direction this way? Is that a ladder? Nope. I just hop down on this thing. Call me crazy, but uh, you know, I, I'm not seeing anything. It's rusted shut. Can't really get over there. Is there some place I'm supposed to turn? Um, checked it. It was further off town than you thought. But you made, a, but if if you made a matchup, you'd say, no. Oh, can I go up here? Ah, uh, here we go. Yes, it looks like the exit. Of course it is. You're in its placement. You must unlock the door to the left.
Well, this is... Maybe just throw some coal on it. <laughs> All empty. Oh man, Junpei, I can't believe I missed something so important. <gasps> what is it? What's so important? Look at those stairs. Look at them carefully. What? There's literally nothing. That gap. That height. I know, it's like art, isn't it? That angle. It's perfect. It is. It really is. Whatever, just bring Clover here right now. Tell her shit. Oh. <laughs> Tell her she has to walk up and down these stairs right now. I got you, Santa. I know what you're trying to do, and I'm on your side on this. <laughs> Whoever's not here, what the hell is he talking about? Uh, we all know what he's talking about. We got. We, we know what he's talking about. I feel like. Like, go that way. I like, I need to. Oh, let's try this one. Ah, here we go. I didn't see that. <laughs> I've been seeking the truth out of here. Quick, fetch June. But Clover's the only one wearing a skirt. Well, a man can dream. Junpei, explain it to me again. I haven't explained anything to you, oh, Ace. Can't explain it to you again if I haven't even explained it to you once. You're planning to stoke the furnace with coal. You just remembered that Seven is alone with Lotus and Clover? Rip Seven? Look, I. Good pause. There's no way. Your theories are just too weird. Want to generate enough pressure with the steam to power the turbine and drive the steam engine, right? Yeah, I guess it's the gist of it. Arjuna has kind of a sweater dress thing on and counts in Santa's mind, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, bad Santa, bad Santa. This is, is literally ginormous. If the three of us work together, we should be able to fill it much faster. May I want to help too? Man, I totally didn't even see her walk up. Yeah, she's just hobbling around. Didn't even notice her. Yes. Yeah, right. You look like you're one stiff breeze away from falling over, June. I think it'd be better. You'd better get some more rest, all right? But no arguing. You need your rest, so you just stay there. I will, will handle this. He's just gonna, he's gonna like start evolving into Hank Hill, Hank Hill accent or something. Well, you know, if back in my back in my day we. We just, we could power this with propane and not coal. Hmm, propane. Yeah, my propane engines are better than coal engines, don't you know? It's a horrible, it's a horrible impression. What? What in the what? God damn it, Bobby. <laughs> I told you I wanted the propane engine, not the coal engine. All right, I think this should be sufficient. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and watch all these men work for in front of me. Oh, no. Yeah, Jin's just 
June, June wanted this. He wanted to see who was the strongest. Yeah. Old noodle arm Junpei flexing his, his power. Junpei, hand me your matches. I have matches? Since when did I? What in the hell are you doing with the propane, Bobby? Yeah, yeah. You're, 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 doing a, you're doing a good uh, impression right there. Good pause. Is that, is that a Hank Hill impression? <laughs> Hashtag not thirsty June. Yeah, June is June's thirstier than me. What makes you think I have matches? I see. How are we going to light it? Perhaps there's a device nearby that will allow us to remotely ignite the coal. Let's take a look, shall we? Ignition. Uh, well. Well, there was, uh, the... It did say that one of the boxes of coal had embers in it. So... So perhaps that would work. It's you, right? No. No, it wasn't that. No. No, it's you. No, wrong way. Oh, wait. No, oh, you're the ignition device. Is this? I think it might be. It probably is. Ah, yes. I love, I love our progression. Just like, you know, it's like, is this? It might be. It probably is. Yeah, we're... We're... I love our deduction skills as a team, you know? I, I'm liking this squad here. It means we move that thing down. All right, let's do it. Uh, let's go. Oh, snap, moving pictures. Oh, wait, snap. Yep, we got the gears. They're spinning. <laughs> let's start looking all right shouldn't be too hard let's take a look at this got gold disc number uno we got bronze disc and we got silver disc Okay. Jinpei, you remember that silver disc? Remember where it was when we found it? I think it was on top. Why? I didn't, just thinking. Oh. Pretty sure we found the silver disc in the top spot. The weird indentation. Okay, I thought we were supposed to do a puzzle. Alright, let's check the other side then, maybe. Down here. Yeah, I think I found it all. You like the the J the J S team? Uh Junpei, Ace and Santa. Um uh, No, probably my favorite my favorite team. The my favorite room is probably the first one. The the June The the June Junpei Santa and Lotus room. That one was that one certainly had some chemistry with the with the squadron. All right, well this is, I'm pretty sure we found the silver disc at the top slot. Weird invitation. Oh wait, yeah. Let's try. The, okay, all right. Item. Let's just I guess let's examine it. Bunch of lines on it. Three different colors, blue, red, and black. Silver disc. It's a bunch of lines on it. The red ones really stand out. Gold disc. It has a number of lines engraved on it. You can make out three colors. Red, blue, and black. Oh, thank you. My favorite team is Junpei, Lotus, and Seven. Yeah, you know, that that, that was a pretty good one, you know? Um, I also liked the... Probably my favorite. My favorite was the beginning room with with uh, with the Junpei. Uh, well, every single one has Junpei. It's, it's Santa, Lotus, and and June. 
and um, the second best one, it's probably got to, it. Probably has to go to Snake. It, it, it probably has to go go to Snake and uh and uh Seven. The stupid uh moment where he tried to where Seven tried to sing into a stupid uh shower head or talk into a shower head, thinking it was a microphone. But the big question is, do you know what fun Yurimpa is? Uh, fun Yurimpa. Well, it's gotta be something. It's it's gotta be some sort of abbreviation. Fun Yurimpa. Maybe that's uh, maybe that's like another combination of names. That's like in the second game or in the third game. You like the ninth man, the one man army. That's a no? No? No, I don't know what fun your rimpa then. I don't, I don't know that one. Combine. Alright, let's combine. Combine. Alright. Well, in that case, let's just go up here and let's. Let's go back to first to the first puzzle room and find out. There's two first puzzle rooms. Oh. But that's literally just you. That's literally just. It's literally just Junbei in that room. It's up there with wet. That's odd. Nothing's happening. I don't know, you're putting in the wrong places. Yeah, you're right. Facing the wrong directions. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it, Junpei. Are you just a rookie at this point? The first puzzle room? I'm trying to think. What happens in the first puzzle room? You're referring to like the the one where you start in, right? The one where with just Junpei, right? Ah, I'm not. I'm not too sure. <laughs> but I mean, how is it possibly up there with wet? Yes. Okay. All right. This should be relatively easy. Okay. All right. Well, appears to be some sort of pentagram. That seems about right. Oh wait. Hold up. I can't really see the color of this one too well. Um, yeah, there we go. There we go. Basically, at the end of the room of June, there. Oh, you're not. So you're talking about the second one. You're talking about the second one. I uh, was to talk talk about a picture. Yeah, the stupid picture, the stupid dog picture. I hate that. <laughs> I was like, what is this a picture of? Well, can't see it. So, I don't know. I guess it's a ship. Well, you know, no, it's actually a dog. <laughs> Because you didn't pick fun, fun your imp. <laughs> yes, the door's open. <laughs> All right, Junpei. Why don't you go get June now? Santa and I will keep an eye on the store. Yeah, June. June's just on the bench. 
what is fun fun your rimpa like literally is it one of the options of what you choose like the what the picture looks like why do we need to do that maybe i should go back and do that even if it shuts we know how to solve the puzzle now we could just open it again well i suppose that's true no ace please shall all three of us go and collect june then collect Everybody. Nah, I'm cool. I'll let Junpei handle it. <laughs> Thanks, Santa. It's the bro code. He's letting me. He's letting me go. Yeah, yeah. Ace, I don't want you to get in the way. You know, if you catch my drift. So, are you only interested in being contrary? All right. I'll go get June. I'll be right back. Oh, Jumpy. Ah, where? I don't see her. Are you okay? Yes. Ah, there I'm you go. I know. I'm sorry I made you worry. A wild June has appeared. Uh, let me check. <gasps> Good. You're feeling a lot better. Are you sure you're all right? Oh, you're such a warrior, Jumpy. It's me. Man, June. June Fei, make up your mind. Is it Clover or June? Oops, I mean, <laughs> warrior. <laughs> uh, warrior, warrior. Same thing. <laughs> All right, let's go. There, maybe he wants both. Ah, uh, now we're thinking the bigger picture here. Now that is the true ending in my book, where I get both. Go where? Oh, right, I didn't tell you. We got the exit open, so... Great, let's go! <laughs> Footstep oh, sounds. It's... Wow, she's a smooth talker. Yeah, Santa? She is. What are you looking at? I asked Santa, what are you looking at? It's a photo. It's my sister. Sister? Santa, you've got a sister? Yeah, it's, yeah, you know, Santa has a sister, you know, it's a... Uh... Yeah. Kid was cute as a button. Uh, may maybe it was Junpei who killed Snake, so he could get the the foot in the door with Clover. Big rain face. Hmm. Now we're on to something here. You see, good boss. Maybe you should have more, more interesting theories like Shifty over here. Now this, maybe I was the killer all along. I have a split personality disorder, and that's why there's like so many cuts to black in between, in between like the other screens she was only about an inch tall then <laughs> in between there evil junpei comes alive <laughs> ja, ja, ja. Ja, ja. <laughs> oh sorry cute as a button an inch tall i guess an inch is a little large for a button probably more like a half inch a good one jin mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> It's been done before with stories. Really? It has? I was just joking around. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you looking at it? <sighs> I was her Santa Claus. Hmm. Wait, what? Wait, what? We didn't have parents. They bought it in an accident when we were still kids. So I had to be like her dad. And that meant that I bought her Christmas presents every year. On Christmas Eve, I'd leave the present next to her pillow. And the next morning, she'd come running into my room with this big smile. That's the that's the second bot that has come into this stream. Yeah, is that is that another bot, good boss? There were two people that have come in this stream today, and I assume that I assume that they're just ad bots. <laughs> but they literally just get wrecked every single time. You don't need to time them out, good boss. They've already been timed out. You're on it? No, you're a little bit slow there, good boss. You're a bit slow there. You got beat to it. Yeah, but good boss, uh, the Streamlabs bot is actually set to, uh, is set to time them out. Um, so, could you, like, go and like ban them 
<laughs> like like go and ban the the ban those bots, Marme. They're there. Um they all look at this huge crowd of people here and they think that ah, that's where I should post my link. Yeah. There you go, good pause gets to ban some people. There we go. Yeah, ban ban the bots. Look, look, Santa left me a present. He got me that doll I really wanted. I'm so glad he got my letter. She was always so excited. I was the one who told her to write those letters. I'd say, write down something you want and mail it to Santa. The address I gave her was somewhere in Northern Europe that doesn't exist. Anyway, she'd write the letter and stamp it and send it out. And then a few days later, it'd show up back in her mailbox marked address unknown. I'd open the letters before she figured out they'd been sent back. Once I had the letter, I'd go around to a couple stores with some money I'd saved up over the year and buy her the stuff she'd asked for. It took a lot of saving, but I managed to buy her presents every year. Huh. Huh. But one year, her letter was different. Hmm. She didn't write a list of toys she wanted or anything like that. Instead, it said, I don't want any presents this year. Instead, I want you to make my wish come true. My wish is that we'll be happy like this for a really, really long time. That was it. Nothing else. But I couldn't make that wish come true. Some Santa I am. What happened? She died. What? What? No, that escalated quickly. She was killed. Nine years ago. Uh, nine, 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 nine years ago. Oh. <gasps> All right, let's go. Okay. All right. Well, we know Santa's connection. Something happened to his sister nine years ago. Hmm. Huh? Hey, what are you two doing? Let's get moving. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. So now we have everybody. Oh, finally back. Everybody's come clean about their involvement. Except Snake is, of course, missing. And Ace. Ace is the last one we know nothing about. By the way, congrats on finding the, the hidden Santa dialogue. 75% of other people I've seen play this PC versions never hear this exchange. What, it's missable? How is it missable? How's it missable? Does that have something with me getting the first ending that I got? Sorry we took so long. <clears throat> Let's go. Or is it just random? It's just literally up to chance of whether I hear it or not. Hmm. Nice room. Hopefully, I don't have to is, escape it. Is this a warehouse? No. There we go. No, I believe this is the cargo room. This must be where they store all of this vessel's freight. Hmm. There are wooden crates everywhere. I wonder how old they are. Well, what? we probably Why does it matter how exit, right? Why is that the first thing that comes to mind? I wonder how old the crates are. When would probably be a better question, what is inside the crates? Let's get going. And another room. Seek a way out. Uh, you can only hear that conversation with him if you made the right choices early in the story before you get there. I wonder what decision I made. <laughs> yeah, good pause. What else 
could he have possibly been part of? It literally said it happened nine years ago. <laughs> Your sick theory just how happens to be the only thing it could be. It's not really a theory. <laughs> Is correct. It's not a theory if you've. Uh, whatever. Normally, he just tells a short folktale about a uh, white and black Santa Claus. That's weird. I wonder what I, what decision I made that decided that. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I know. I know what I did. I, I talked to him whenever we were searching for Snake. Um, I went back to the big hospital room and Snake was there and I talked to him. That might have been it. That might have been it. That's the only one that I could really see people missing. Uh, you can check your route in the map page to see. What are these keys? Locked, locked. Locked, locked. They have all these locked areas. The light blue line is the path you took. I see no light blue line here. This is a this is a yellow line. And I wouldn't have talked to Santa in this direction. I would have only talked to Santa in this direction. I'm not sure what exactly I have done differently. Right, got her blind. Okay, yellow. <laughs> right. A bunch of bags here. I wonder what's in there. Uh, the ninth man. You're wrong, it's green. Maybe so. Get out of here, good boss. <laughs> Get out of here, good boss. You're out of your mind. Oh. Maybe very light green. It's not cyan. A headshot. Yeah. Not sure what purpose this possibly serve. And we just all forgot who the ninth man was. Nothing in the bag anymore. Card with a headshot. It's Santa. No, I'm serious, it's green? Yeah. It's those light greens that throw me off sometimes. These crates are quite large. They seem to be tied to one another. It's three straps. There are three crates stacked up like stairs. Out there, I think we can get over the fence. Jinpei, I think you should take a look at that. Sorry, but no thanks. Hey, I just had a thought. You're colorblind, so you're gonna have a hard time at the second game then? No, it's, I mean, it's not that bad. My... I'm not that bad with colors. It's, it's really just with, like, very light green and yellow. Like, like, I can easily tell the difference between regular green and yellow, but, like, very light green and yellow. Like, like those kind of throw me off sometimes. Same with blue and purple. Like, certain shades of purple and blue, I, like, kind of get mixed up sometimes. Pussy. <laughs> Santa called me a pussy. Second game is all about colors and matching and... The whole color wheel. I forgot about that. I, I mean, I saw, like, the very beginning 
of each and every single game. Um, no clue. No, no clue what was going on at the time, but they looked cool. I like that each and every single game kind of follows a different type of game concept, but it's still... I think it's still the Notary game, but I can't be for certain. For c certain? Certain? I don't care anymore. I tried. I tried with words. Please be careful, Santa. Oh, yeah. Just in case. What is he going to do with that screw? I don't see what throwing it screw at the fence is. Uh... It'll be tough for him regardless because he didn't know yellow and red made orange. Right, right. I knew yellow and red made orange. I was making fun of you. I was making fun of you, telling you that you were wrong. Electrified. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Need the key card. Okay, so we can open number nine and number three. A colorblind mode uh, on an old PSP game. All right. Uh, we we're lucky we have those options nowadays. Yeah. With a headshot. Okay, now we can open number eight. All right. Okay, all right. Guess I can't open the individual boxes. Oh, yes. Oh, there's a June pay. There's a June pay right there. Not cool, man. You took this picture without my permission. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, though. Really? Look really handsome in this picture. Hey, knock it off, love birds. What? <laughs> and there we go. Here's a. Here's a this must be. Oh no! Don't don't look at it. I'm not cute at all. And I'm, I'm not photogenic. I don't. It looks sexy. <laughs> Next to clover, my skin looks gross. What what are you on about? <laughs> What? And you're not sexy like Lotus? So you, you gotta be kidding me. You can, you're like, like, it's just natural. I mean, she's wearing less clothes. It's impossible. There's nothing to do with Lotus. It's just the less clothes that's the factor. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. So please don't call me a board or a trash can or a cutting board. Uh, word, word. <laughs> okay. with a headshot got a clover what about a snake there we go we got a snake we got an ace we have one two three four five six seven eight who are we missing ah oh, we're missing seven already opened it stairs they go up through stories Good pause, you're either really delayed or I don't know. This is the only door except for the one we just came. Oh, uh, this is the exit. Is thirsty to care? Yeah. Keyhole. Alright, so we just need a regular old key. Monitor's off. 
A green switch here and a red one. Some kind of lever. Maybe, maybe the power's off. There's a single green light on the bottom though. Hmm. Only the ninth one is lit? That's because everyone else isn't dead. Six holes here, they look like jacks for a headphone cable. Besides, her attitude's way better than Lotus's. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Like it's covering something. <laughs> All right, well. We are gonna have to... Okay, well. Alright, well, we already searched those three. Got that one. I want to see that one. Oh, box. Can I check that box? Nope. What about you? There we go. Alright, now it's time to open it. Now we finally have all nine picture cards. We just need to insert these cards into the slots at the front of each box. You search all the cards? Yep, I just found it. You just know which the last card one. goes in which box, yes? Uh, yeah, of course I do. It's really obvious. You just match our numbers to the numbers. Then you pop the corresponding card in the right box. Mm. So, for instance, the card with the picture of Ace on it goes into box one. Yes. The card with the picture of Snake on it goes into box two, and so on. Oh, uh, I see. What? Why do you sound like you're just figuring this out, Ace? Huh? What is it? Hey! M June! Are you okay? Oh, just June. Oh, okay, I thought that was Ace. I hate to bring it up, but going by... Uh... Hate to bring it up, but going by Japan standards, Lotus is used goods. Japan has weird ideas. I mean, she's definitely been used, but she's still good. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I gotta go check on her. You finish the box thing, all right? Uh, um. Just put the cards in the boxes. I'm counting on you. I, I, are you all right? What happened? Are you okay? Are you choking? Are you choking? Can you stand? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm fine. Do you need some water? I just tripped. Oh. Don't give me that. Now is not the time. But it's true. I, I tripped over a box. There are a lot of boxes in here. <laughs> just let me see for a sec. Huh. Huh? You're still warm. I saw her fall. I think she really did just trip on something, you know? Still, to fall down like that? I think she's probably still a little messed up. All right, well, let's just get out of here as fast as we can so we can get you to a hospital. Well, I don't think it's anything that serious. I just need a little medicine and some sleep, and I'll be fine. It's man withdrawal. That's <laughs> yeah, a good one, Shifty. That's a good one. Medicine. Man withdrawal. Medicine, huh? Medicine? Well, if we could get in touch with anyone outside, I'll bet Ace could swing that for you easy. <laughs> Ace? Why? Huh? Don't you know? He's the president of a pharmaceutical company. So he's not just a part of Cradle Pharmaceuticals, he's the president of it. Cradle Pharmaceuticals is the name, I think. Their flagship product is an anesthetic drug called Soparil. Soparil Beta. Soparil Beta. Soparil. Soparil. I've heard of that before somewhere. You told me? You didn't tell me anything. <laughs> Let's not do any big brain plays here. Ace is still... Ace is zero. He's back on the table. <laughs> My theory is not dead yet. Ace is the lone and sole killer. Soparil. 
It's an anesthetic that's a gas at room temperature. A lot like how nitrous oxide is. Well, no, Ace, no, well, no, Ace didn't kill anyone. Um, still believe that, you know, the person who killed everyone in that ending was probably Alice, probably, because it's the only other person it could be, because Ace is already dead, but Ace is zero, because that company led this exact same similar experiment. So, either Ace, Ace knows more than he lets on. Might be uh, interested in telepathy, maybe. I, I, I'm not sure what he'd use it for. It takes only a few seconds to spread, and even a small amount is very effective. A bunch of countries quickly accepted it for widespread use within their police and military forces. It was an effective crowd suppressant and room clearer. You told me four hours ago, you know what that anesthetic was somehow? It was a mutual agreement. <laughs> It was a mutual agreement, all right? But you did you did bring it up. You did bring it up that, that he knew what it was. It was practical, ethical, and the humane nature of it made it the ideal drug. It's been around for about six years. They developed it from the extracts of several different roots. That's true, but... You came up with it, you laughed at me. No, I laughed at everything else in your theory but that, because your theory is laughable. <laughs> I did not laugh at that part. I laughed at the parts that where you're just like, this person faked their death, this person faked their death. You said everyone faked their death except the person who could have possibly faked their death. In fact, you said the person who, who most likely faked their death is, in fact, still dead <laughs> which I'm referring to snake what if you just s said what the drug on the back of the label said but he's a president of a pharmaceuticals company <laughs> it became popular almost as soon as it was made public with many governments placing large orders demand for soparil skyrocketed and of course that meant cradle pharmaceuticals stock did too which means that's the rich company. Zero is is one. Zero equals one. There we go. We found it. We figured out the equation. Zero equals one. Why do you know all of this? I heard it from the old man himself. From Ace? When? By the number four door at the central stairway when we were searching the second class room. Remember how Snake, Seven, and you went to door five? It was back then. I asked him what he did for a living, and he said he ran his own company. After that, we just started talking, and I guess it just came up, you know? Huh. Are you worried about something? No, nothing. Uh, hmm. uh, what, what, are you, what, are you having problems? What the hell is he doing? June, don't push yourself, all right? Yes. Santa, could you take care of her? I'll go check on Ace. Looks like he's having trouble. Sure. What are you doing? What happened? Nothing. I... My vision has gotten rather blurry, I think, because of fatigue. I can't see very well at the moment. What can't you see well? Yeah, what can't you see while well, these pictures? Oh, 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 hey, hey, you hear that? That's a stupid dog in the background. Yeah, yeah. These pictures. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. That sounds vaguely. Hold on a second. Hold on. This sounds vaguely similar to. Uh, so let me scroll up in the chat. I forgot the name of the disease. F, p, it's a f, p. Uh, it's, it's, it's not fun. Your rimpa. It's, what is it? Sounds like I can't remember. What is the what is the disease called? What is it? It starts with a P. 
It starts with a P. He's having trouble with the pictures of our faces. Because he can't recognize them. He can only recognize us by our bracelets. I don't care to admit it, but I may be developing presbyopia. No, that's that's not that's not the P word. It's it's a different P word. Growing old is a difficult thing. <laughs> it literally has pictures of only our faces. He's got that. He's got that. Uh, what, what's the what's the name of the thing that Lotus was talking about earlier? Go shifty. What's the what's the name of the disease? At any rate, I'll er, leave the rest to you. He's he looks severely depressed about it. I'm feeling awfully tired, so if you don't mind, I'd like to rest for a bit. Oh, you know, layer build up on it makes it harder to see. <sighs> How could simply looking at cards have tired him out? Because he can't recognize you. Hmm. But if it wasn't, what had made him so uncomfortable? Prosopagnosia. Ah, that's it. That's it. Prosopagnosia. Well, well, put simply, it means a condition where the mind can't distinguish between the human faces. In other words, my face would look the same as Clover's or even yours. So they can't remember faces, which is how most people recognize each other. That means that people with prosopagnosia have trouble recognizing even people they're close to. Maybe, maybe he's got prosopagnosia? Yes, that's what he has. Huh. And he looks so sad about it. <laughs> well, he looks depressed enough to have it. <laughs> he's, yeah, he's got the depression. Dad's up. Oh, well. Time to solve the nine boxes puzzle. Ace's card is in box one. Snakes is in number two. You're gonna trust the word of a crazy out of work tech stripper? <laughs> Come on, man! Don't go down that rabbit hole. Look, it's gotta be it's gotta be a real condition. Come on, I I mean, I'm putting all my eggs in one basket here. Maybe Clover and Lotus have everyone here to get revenge on Ace. What? Why would they want to get revenge on Ace? I just need to do the same for the rest. And finally, the ninth man's card into box nine. Yeah! Oh, they opened! What the? Nine pins? And they're all headphone jacks. I guess I'll take them with me. Looking things. Seven is here because he wasn't fast enough. No, I mean, everyone's here because they're connected to the thing nine years ago. Only thing is, is that everyone here is, are all victims, and Ace is a perpetrator. That's the, that's the only real difference here. Remember that weird stuff she said about human brains being space junk? Uh, I don't know. I can't remember. <laughs> I remembered prosopagnosia because she said, Seriously? You don't know what prosopagnosia means? I think 2, 4, and 6 should go on the top part. And 3, 5, 7 go on the bottom part. Three six. There's some kind of rule which determines what light gets turned on. Two four six at the top part. Three five seven on the bottom. I think maybe it's the digital root. Uh, digital root. Two plus four plus six equals twelve, which equals three. Sixteen. Six. Boom. Makes sense, but I don't know what they want me to do. Light that matches, lights that match the digital root of the pins inserted at the top and lower parts would light up. I don't know, maybe Junpei bullied Clover and Schoolers, I think. No, Junpei 
Junpei's link is Jun. Has to be. Because Junpei is literally the one person here who just doesn't know anything. <laughs> I think I'd like to check. If you want to try, you're certainly welcome to. So, put the one, two, and three at the top. Six, seven, eight at the bottom. It turned off. So, root of 21 is three. Or light three turned off. Uh, no. Junpei and Akane did go to school together. They did. That is true. I think I get what, I, what we need to do. Alright. Okay, so Digital root skills. Remember what I said about your digital root skills? Have fun. Jeez. Uh, this is going to be terrible. So now we gotta create digital root of five, which um, should be I got an F. I was so bad that I got an F. Yeah, we gotta do it again. We got nine holes. There's an F above them. I don't know what the F means, but I do know one thing. What's that? This time there are nine holes. She needs to insert nine pins. And that's boring. Ah, no, it's hexadecimal. Is it hexadecimal? Please don't be hexadecimal. Please just be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Uh, F. Oh, wait. No, F. F is 16, right? I don't know anymore. I don't know what they want me to do. We're gonna have to create 16 multiple times. Or create seven multiple times. Maybe that's it. Create seven three times. Is that it? So, do. So, uh, do four, two, one. Uh, 13, 13, 16. Let's try this. See if this combo will work. Nope. Nope, that ain't gonna work. Um. Seven. Four. And. Oh God, this is going to be terrible. This is going to be terrible. This is going to be so bad. Try just throw whatever left in there, uh, and we're done oh. for. We can't do it. F means 15. I got it wrong. <laughs> I got it right that it was hexadecimal. I just got it mixed up. I said it was 16. Ah, so close. It was 15. I was doing the wrong number the whole time. All right. Well, 15. So nine. One. Four. Thirteen. This is sixteen. Fantastic. Um, uh, I mean, I don't know, maybe. Oh, I need to do it diagonally too? That's awful. That's awful. That is awful. So that means nine's going in the middle. Nine is going in the middle. We got nine. Uh, oh, this ain't it.
Can I beat her time? Well, I mean, this is quite the puzzle, if I do say so myself. It's quite the puzzle. Didn't think I'd be thrown in the ringer like this. This is quite awful. Oh, this ain't gonna work. This is just terrible. This is just absolutely awful. I think about this. Dude, ring. Uh, this is hard. <laughs> This is this is just ridiculous. Forty-five minutes. Are you telling me someone did this for forty-five minutes? This is just stupid. This is very really stupid. I can't do this. There's only one possible outcome, you said? I can't really see any, like, because this is involved in everything. So I can't imagine any other number but nine and one in the middle. And whatever's in these middle things, like, you, you have been saying Jin Valley gets the simple puzzles. Uh, try putting five in the middle. I mean, why five in the middle? I mean, I guess it could be five in the middle. I mean, would it just be like, it'd be like a, whatever it's called. Dang, what's the one, five, 10. Five. Okay, let's try five in the middle. We'll try this. We'll try your theory. Why did I screw that up? That's fourteen. Yeah, I have fourteen. Never mind. Um. It's nine and a six. You throw it uh seven, that's thirteen. Um okay. nine to eleven. How's that on time? <laughs> Pause, you solved it, great job. What, what did he do? He just said put five in the middle. He said put five in the middle, that, that was it. <laughs> Go on, he didn't do anything else. I don't know I don't know what he meant by one five ten. I just And what he meant for ten and two. Discrediting your amazing math skills. I mean I don't know what you did. <laughs> what you meant one five nine? Yeah, I mean, hey, you, you helped me throw five in the middle. 
I mean, if that means anything. He beat the other streamer. That's all that matters. Yeah, that is what's all. That is all that matters. And I basically did it all by myself. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, good pause. You suck. Yeah. He only told me to put five in the middle. You didn't do anything else. Save me the time for doing one or nine in the middle, like you said. Well, I was assuming something like symbolism or nine in the middle, to rep nine or one in the middle to represent. It would be between nine, one, and five. That would have to be in the middle because I, I, I was expecting something like, uh, I don't know, some sort of symbolism. Like, you know, nine is, of course, the everything in the game revolves around nine. Everything in the game revolves around number one. Or, any, or everything revolves around number five, as in the main character. As in the entire game revolves around Junpei and his decisions. Which is exactly how the game is. So it only could have been one of those three numbers that were in the middle. It was just a matter of when. I actually combined the rest of them. Yeah, that. He's pointing to. Called a Pushmaster 5000? Yeah. Whatever. What's to do with the Pushmaster 5000? Oh, wait, wait, are you quoting me? <laughs> oh, yeah, you were, you were quoting me, I think. I didn't see the quotation marks. Well, you know me, I don't finish my thoughts, right? Path to the coffin? That's all ice. It's all ice. Like that. I have a great sight, I guess. Yeah. Another one of Zero's puzzles. I wasn't paying attention to what I had to do in this puzzle, so. Now, because you're so good at these puzzles, you can do them all on your own. Here's another one. You solve all by myself. Yep, that's right. <sighs> all by myself. Monitor shows a top down view of the area where we can move the machine. Okay. I guess let's give it a try. Just keep in mind there's a limit on the battery, alright? The battery dies after 50 moves. At least that's what it says. The 50 moves. <laughs> 50 moves. Look, good pause. Your massive brain came up with the theory that that everybody is not actually dead. That was your theory. Wait, where's the push master? Oh. Down, down, down. Lift, lift, up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Best maybe I go to the left and I could push both boxes at the same time. Maybe. close we're getting close uh... darn I think I screwed up I think I screwed up, you guys. I think I screwed up. Because I can't move that box. So. I messed up again. I messed up again. Yeah, such a puny mortal brain. Yeah, like you know how to do it. Like you know how to do it. Like you know how to do it. Okay, I can't push two boxes at a time. That's stupid. That's stupid. You can't push two boxes at a time. I did not know that that was not allowed. You think you do, but you never talk? That's fine. That is fine.
Well, that's a good pause. What are you on about? You probably just looked it up. You probably just looked it up, you fool. I'm not falling for your tricks. Okay, we're get we're getting it down to the wire. Yay, I did it. Didn't take too long. Awesome, the Pushmaster 5000 did just what I told it to do. Uh, finally. Took you long enough? You say that as if you were, would be able to do it faster. Mummy. Oh, there ain't no uh, mummy. That ain't no mummy in there. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, really? Mm. Whatever. Just open it. Okay. Okay. Is it all ice? All ice in there? A small key and a gun. A gun? Yeah, a revolver. It looks pretty old. I wonder if this is a replica. This thing is... Are these real bullets? Oh, if this is real... Oh. You're not gonna take it? Of course not. All something like this is going to do is cause more trouble. I don't know. I think I want to take it. It's a powerful weapon that gives one person a huge advantage. Something like that would be way too dangerous to have around. We're in enough danger already. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Maybe Zero put this gun here, hoping that something like that might happen. In other words, maybe he put it here to make us fight each other. In that case, we should most certainly leave it here. I, for one, have no desire to let Zero control me. Well, I mean, Zero is controlling you because you are Zero, obviously. Come on. Me neither. <laughs> okay, we've got that figured out. But you aren't going to leave that key in there, are you? Of course not. We'll take that with us. Rusty key. Has nothing on it. Which means it's the key to the exit. Da, 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 da. Yay! Looks like it opened, Jumpy. I see. You're not allowed to call me Jumpy Ace. Jumpy's only for close friends. Come on. The key should open the door, Jumpy. Ah, you said it. Long hallway, huh? Let's check it out. We've seen this elevator before. Hmm. We got off the one on the left just a little while ago. This is this is true. Then we went through the number six door, and that took us to the engine room. <laughs> you 
You know, you kind of sound like Nico B. I don't know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is, if I'm honest. Yes, and after that, we pass through the cargo room. And now we're back here. In other words, we made a loop. We're back where we started. Hmm. We needed a card to get to this point. I don't see a card reader here. Perhaps we aren't able to activate it from this location. Why don't you just try pushing the button? And also, I don't know if that's a compliment or not. That could be an insult. In that case, well, you sound like Nico B. <laughs> yeah. It works. I think so. Good. Now we can go back if we need to. What do we do? Should we return to Sea Deck? No, this hallway keeps going. Even if we do end up going back, I think we should see what's down there first. Hmm, very true, Junpei. Junpei! I agree. Let's go. Looks like it ends here. Only one door. Well, I know what door this needs else. to. There It's the only way to go. All right. Let's open it. <clears throat> the nine door. It's the nine door. <laughs> of course it wouldn't be that easy. Vacant. Huh. We finally found it. J Jumpy! Huh? Look! Behind you! What? What? A nine door. Uh, he's a somewhat big YouTuber known for his funny improv commentary while playing games. Uh, he also played this game years ago. Ah. Well, I see. He's got good taste in games. At least I hope. I don't know. If he's a YouTuber, he's probably playing Fortnite right now. <laughs> There's another one. <clears throat> Why? It's nine, no matter how you look at it. Ah, come on, that's just, uh, it's clearly upside down six, you guys. It's a common mistake. The red is there too, so this is a real one? <laughs> it's an upside down lowercase b. Oh wait, d. B, d. Why? It, why the hell are there two doors? <laughs> there right now it'd be two a, doors. No, that's, that's, that's a B. That's a B. Never mind. It's a B. Yeah, it's clearly an accident. It's zero just painted on the wrong door on accident. <laughs> All right. I mean, if you think about it, zero never actually said there was only one door with a nine on it. It is hidden, hidden but an exit, exit can, can be found. Be found. Seek, Seek a way, a way out. out. Seek, Seek a door, a door that, carries that carries a nine. Of course, we just assumed that there was only one. Yeah, we can't assume in this day and age. That's just, that's just leads to bad news. After all, why would there be more than one? Oh, man. Uh, we fell for it. There are two doors. That means that all nine people who had met at the central staircase could escape. No one would be left behind. Now it makes sense why the bracelets are numbers. One through nine. Divided into teams of four and five people. The digital root of both teams ends up being nine. Mm. Take one, two, seven, eight, and three, four, five, six, nine, for example. The, or two, three, four, nine, and one, five, six, seven, eight. The digital root is still nine. There are a bunch of combinations that work and they all end up the same way. If one team has the digital root of nine, so would the other one. That's how the uh, so the game is designed, I guess. What does that mean? It means, uh, it means ninth man stupid for dying. <laughs> the answer's simple. From the very beginning, the Nonary game was designed to save all nine people. My man, my man failed. <laughs> That's how it was meant to be. Zero didn't lie. He never said there'd be only one nine door. 
but anyone who'd found themselves in the game would have assumed that was the case. Fights would have broken out. One team would likely betray or deceive the other. Someone might be hurt. Someone might get killed. But eventually, they'd reach this very same room and realize how pointless all their infighting was. There were two doors. There was no need to kill each other. This game was designed for that purpose. This nonary game. The, the nonary game. We were all arguing and fighting over doors at the beginning. But if there had been one slip up, one tiny mistake that led to more, everything could have been so much worse now. So, what are we going to do, Junpei? Huh? Oh, right. I say let's leave. Yeah. Hey, keep it together, man. Sorry. Jeez. So what do we do? What do you... Oh yeah, let me save. Uh, uh, save. We need to think about our next step. Uh, next step? Our numbers are one, three, five, and six. That's a digital root of six. Okay, all right, we can't save. Let's go and grab someone else. Four of us can't open the number nine door. Yeah, like a random ending where everyone ends up dead. <laughs> that feels familiar. The four. Wait, don't tell me. Yep, there's one combination that'll let three of us open the nine door. That's why I'm asking, what now? What now? No, we gotta go back. Yep. You know, let's just stay here. I feel like it's safer if we just stay here, you know, and we don't go back to the... We don't go back to where they are, you know. I just... Uh, I feel like it's a really bad idea, you know. I agree. We cannot leave June behind. Wait, we left... Wait, we left June? What? Where did we leave June? <laughs> what do you know? Uh, are you oh, wait. sure? Oh, wait, no. Oh, okay. I, I don't mind staying... Never mind, we didn't It's okay. Too. There's no way we'd leave you behind. Besides, I'd rather drown at the bottom of the ocean than escape with this sausage fest. <laughs> That's my man, Junpei. Yeah, Junpei knows what's up. Yeah, um, Maybe I'm pretty sure Atlanta. everyone's dead. Right, let's just stay here. Uh, are you sure you don't mean Atlantis? It... Yeah, yeah, who, who would want to... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, who would, who would want to go to Atlanta? Like, ah, oh, jeez, this just sounds like a terrible idea. Why would you want to go to Atlanta? Yeah, huh? Atlanta sounds way better. Oh, right. <laughs> you guys. Very well. Best we head back to C Deck then. We should be able to take the elevator we passed earlier. No, because their only combo means leaving June behind? How do you know this good pause? Did you... Did you how, how long did you spend calculating digital routes for you to get that conclusion? Perhaps Clover, Seven, and Lotus will have returned from door one. But even with all seven of us... <laughs> Standing around here isn't going to accomplish anything, don't you agree? Let's find the other three first, and then search for another solution. I guess you're right. All right, let's go. Yeah. Okay. Huh. Huh. Come to think of it. What is this room? It's a room. We were so focused on the doors, we didn't even look around. One plus five plus three equals nine. Uh... Plus, leaving would mean leaving seven here. Surrounded by all kinds of felines. Could you stand for that? Look, seven would basically be in heaven, all right? No room for six. Huh. It looks like it's set up for some kind Look, of ceremony. I think we're ruling out a pretty big factor here, all right? I, I think we're ruling out something here that completely changes the game. <clears throat> 
because right now there's eight people left. Um, if you split the group up, five and three, uh, then And yeah, it seems possible. It seems possible. But what kind? Oh, a coffin. This is the coffin. This is it. It's the coffin that I need the combo for. What on earth is a coffin doing in a place like this? Hey, Junpei, the hell are you doing? Let's move. Right, okay. I'll be right there. Hey, yo, there's someone in there. <laughs> hey, there's someone in there. You guys, hey? What? Hey, hey, we... All ice, all ice Look, once it's... out. Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. What? What's the problem? Quick, everyone stop being stop their big brains. Don't think about stuff and look over here at my funny comment. Hurry, save your minds. Clover is gone. What? Okay, well that just completely changes everything. What do you mean gone? When? Why? What'd you do, Ace? You two went into door one with Clover, didn't you? Yeah, we went through the door together. But Clover barely spoke to us. She just did her own thing the whole time. Huh. There were four rooms on the other side of door one. She wouldn't let us into the fourth room. She just said, I'll take care of this one. And shut the door. Hmm. She must have blocked it with something on the other side. We waited for a while, but Clover didn't come out. We called for her, but she didn't answer. So I kicked down the door and we went into the room. But... Hmm. It was empty. Fantastic. Clover wasn't there. There was a door on the other wall. And it was open. <sighs> we figure she opened the door and left by herself. We ran after her, of course, but... Well, obviously we didn't find her. You figure that much out. Clover's gone. When did this happen? We got here just before you. You certainly have excellent timing. So you haven't searched anywhere other than near the staircase? No, we haven't. Very well then. We'd best separate and look for Clover. No, let's not separate. The bad guy would want us to separate. Let's not separate. We haven't much time left. Let's begin. Yeah. She's not here. No, she isn't. Lotus is bad. Don't believe her lies. <laughs> All right, just in case, we should go take a look in the shower room. Shower room? Oh. That's where her brother is. She might have gone to see him. Well, we might as well check, right? Good. We can still get in. Uh, finally, Seven's block blocking the doors from closing is we actually super Seven helpful later. now. No luck. Yeah. I don't think she's here. The smell is horrible. Let's check the back, just to be sure. No, oh, she's not here. <sighs> snake. I don't think that's snake. I mean, Clover herself says it's not going, it's not snake, so. Just where did your sister go? Uh, such a horrible way to go. I don't know where he's at. He just phased out of existence, I guess. He got Thanos snapped. Oh, no. It's all crossing over. It's the biggest crossover event in history. Oh, no. You got Thanos snapped. It's in sync with the end of the Avengers Endgame. The skull shattered. The if Tony Stark does not snap twisted. everyone back into... Oh, no. If, if, if he doesn't get him back... Oh, no. Tony Stark has to snap. If he doesn't snap, then we're never going to get... We're never going to get him back. Wait. What? Bones. Oh, Junpei, you're finally remembering? My brother's left arm is 
Um, it's not like a normal person's arm. The accident hurt him really bad. Of course. Of course. Why didn't I realize it earlier? I don't know. Considering the information was fresh in your mind earlier. Um, Jumpy? Oh, sorry for making you wait. Let's go. Junpei! Jun! Where were you guys? You see, good pause. The thing I don't understand about your theory is, why would she lie about her own brother's uh, survival? And it's not like it's a one-way thing. Literally, it's a... They literally both admitted to being siblings. So, it's not like they're lying about being siblings. Well, they could be. They could both be lying about being siblings, but... I mean, I doubt it. Did, did something happen? Clover is... Clover is dead. What? I found her in the first-class bathroom. It's the murder. It's the murderer from last time. She's on the loose. Oh, jeez. Ah! Clover. Faked her. Faked her death. No bracelet. Pretty sure heart rate's at zero, fellas. <laughs> Why? Why did this happen? <sighs> Clover. No way. Let's let's get out of here, June. Are you all right? Yes, I I think so. You should get some rest. Well, I don't. I don't here, know. The bed. Can you sit? Yes. Who was the first to find the body? Me. Ah, foof. Okay. All right. I was about to have a heart attack if it was Ace. All right. Well, her bracelet's covered by her sleeve. You see, that's just, I mean, like, like in just about every single shot of them scanning their bracelet, their, their uh, bracelet is over their sleeve. Seven self-reported. <laughs> Why did you come to this room? To look for Clover. Why else? I found her body in the bathroom. As soon as I did, I ran outside. Good fellas, your theories are getting worse and worse. I got to the top. Remember, of the they're becoming even more and sporadic. As, loud as I could. As the game goes on. Hey guys, I found her, but it's bad. She's in the bathroom in the first class cabin. Come quick, or something like that. Then I went back to the bathroom. Ace, Santa, and Lotus showed up real soon after that. But I guess you two hadn't heard me or something because you didn't show. So I took off down the stairs to look for you. After that, I, I mean, you know the rest, right? Seven, th there's one more thing I'm worried about. A what? What? You stuck one of those plates in between the door and the frame, right? Yes. Why did you do that? Well, I don't know. Come on, didn't I already tell you that? I did it so that the door wouldn't lock. So we could come back to this room? Yeah, I mean, he did it about, he did it with every single door. Oh. You think I did it? Well, I don't know. That kind of depends on what you say, doesn't it? For crying out loud. <laughs> Follow me. A closet? Yeah. This is the reason. This safe. You know, I remember, you know, now that I actually remember it, we actually never opened the safe. We couldn't open it when we were getting through this room. Yeah. I figured there might be something pretty important. I couldn't stop thinking about it. I figured eventually we might figure out what the numbers are for the safe. And if we did, 
I didn't want to screw around with door five again. So I put the plate in the exit door so we could get back in that way. You get it now? Okay. Yeah. All right. I figured it wouldn't open. Yeah, I, yeah I, I'm not sure why you thought it would. Huh? This is... Rust. Rust. If there's rust here, that means... I don't know what that means. Has someone opened the safe? Maybe there's another clue. Anything that might lead us to discover who stabbed Clover. This room was a pain. I don't want to... Don't behind make me do this, this room again. The ninth man's body is behind there. Maybe I should have another look at it, just in case. Yeah. Oh, the hell. This, this smell is... Blurk? Yep, that is a that is a herp and a blurk if I ever seen it. Uh, Sorry, I just wanted to join in with everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Cannot wait for this fake body. Can't be a fake body. See his glasses, they're still there. Wait. It's it's gone. His bracelet. It's gone. The bracelet's gone. It was right next to the glasses. Who took the bracelet? But why? Huh? Where'd Junpei go? Uh... Mm. Who yoinked oh, the bracelet? You Were you looking for something in the hallway? Yeah. Did you find something? Surely not Ace. I think it's my theory that's coming together. Slowly but surely, good pause. Your theory is completely wrong. Mine seems like it's coming together perfectly. <laughs> and you get to watch as your theory crumbles into pieces as you were wrong. Uh, no, nothing. What's up? Ah, uh, well, I wanted you to take a look at something. <laughs> what is it? Clover. Clover? <sighs> what was it you wanted to show me? I searched Clover's body again. A real shame. She was stabbed once in the back. Probably by a knife or something. No, this can't be happening. <laughs> it's happening. And? I found this. Please don't be the bracelet. Ah, oh, okay, good, 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 okay. All right. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Basic stuff. Yeah, yeah, ba basic basic uh, police well, work. Well, I did borrow one thing. What? What? I'm opening it. Truth had gone, truth had gone, and truth had gone. And now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. Ah, now truth is asleep in the darkness of the sinister hand. What is this? Some kind of secret code? Hmm, a code. Sinister hand means... Uh... I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm left-handed. I'm pretty sure left-handed people are associated with the devil, maybe... Maybe it's left hand. Sinister was a term used in heraldry that meant to the left of the bearer of a coat of arms. Oh, it was? Oh, okay. The left hand. The left hand. What does the left hand mean? Does the darkness of the sinister hand have something to do with the bracelet? There's two things sticking out on either side of the face. The left and right sides of the face. Left and right. Left and right. Right and left. Left, right, left, right, right. Truth is gone. Truth gone. Hmm. Truth gone. Maybe those two words. Uh. Try reading them backwards. Gone truth. Gone had truth. Gone had truth. No, nope. no, that's not it. Switching the sentence around, reading it out loud, that's not it. What else could gone and truth mean? Well, it's between these two. 
Let's try switching the sentence around. How about switching the sentence around? <laughs> left, right, left. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Juju Bear is just singing, singing the Three Days Grace song. Gone had truth. Well, that makes even less sense. No, that's you got Clearly that. switching the words isn't going to help. Time for a different idea. All right. Let's try. What, what else, else could it mean? Gone and truth mean. Truth, of course, means something that is correct, something that's fact. In other words, something that is right. You could then safely assume that gone means left. After all, after someone left, they were gone. Hmm. But in this case, they clearly refer to their directional homonyms. Then truth equals right, and gone equals left. So it's directions. The left and right of the bracelet. These two things sticking out. No. Oh, or it's a cheat code. So if I... Press them in the following order. Uh... Truth, right. Left. Right, left. I right left right left it's this one huh wait did it just One four three eight three four two one. Huh? Hey, what are those numbers? I I, I, hmm. I don't know. <laughs> one four three eight three four two one. 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 You want to point out that in the Japanese version, the note is written in English, so Junpei has big brain for being able to read it and figure out the code. No, not not an American version. <laughs> an American version, Junpei is just normal. He has nothing one, four, remarkable three, eight, about three, four, two, one. Huh. That is a really long combination. One, four, three, eight, three, four, two, one. to the right... Or to the left. And... Oh. Bingo. I knew it was for this. That is an insanely oh. long combo. Is this some sort of note? Let's see. Fact one. The notary game was played once before, nine years ago. Fact two person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago we knew that fact three it was planned by the following four people cradle pharmaceutical ceo president what's the difference nagisa Nijisaki, Cradle Pharmaceutical Supervisor, Teraki Kubota, Majority Shareholder holder in Cradle Pharmaceuticals, Kajichika Musashido. I must punish them for the innocent lives they sacrificed. This is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. Huh. Sorry, but do you think you could all come with me? Wait, what's the difference between a president and a CEO? Nothing? Nothing's the difference between the president and the CEO? Come with you? I want all of you to go to the big hospital room. There's no, there's no difference, right? Why? There's something I want to be sure of. Nothing? They're just different names? Okay, so... In that case, we now know we now know Ace's name is Gentaro something. Ace is Ace is the CEO of of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. 
What do you want to be sure of? Which we already know. Okay, so. I want to know if the person I suspect is really the culprit. Wait, then you're saying? Yeah, I think I've got it figured out. I know who killed Snake and Clover. Anyway, if you could all please move to the big hospital room. I'll explain everything as soon as we get there. Unless, uh, is president of a board, that's different. That's not their time out, yeah. It's five o'clock. We don't have a lot of time left. Let's go. Also, by the way, good pause. Thank you so much for typing that code in the chat. I Actually, might need it later. Uh, before we get started, good pause. I was hoping. I mean, good mod, not me. good pause. Good mod. Good mod. Great mod. You are not Scooby Snack for your for your efforts. Ace Seven and Lotus, could you please place your palms on the red? Hmm. Huh? Why? If we need to get to the shower room, why don't we just... No, we're not going inside. Once you've authenticated, step away from the door. Why? Please, just do it. Step away from the door? Or perhaps you don't want to know who killed Snake and Clover. <sighs> Fine. What about you, Ace? Lotus? Very well. Sure. I have this idea. I don't think this device responds to a hand placed on it. Hmm? It instead reacts to a bracelet being brought close. You don't actually need a hand. Snap, son. Everything's coming together. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Fuck you for being so right. <laughs> huh? What was that about? Never specify in the rules you have to place your hand on the scanner. <laughs> How should I know? Thanks. I appreciate your cooperation. By the way, Ace, would you mind if I asked you something? What is it? Do you know who I am? What? What kind of question? Just answer it, please. Who am I? You're Junpei, of course. Wait. Who else would you be? Wait, you guys thought you needed to put the hand, put your hand on the scanner? No. Good pause thought that you need to put the hand on the scanner. My theory about Ace being the bad guy, the the plan consisted of him not requiring the bracelet to be used on the scanner. And that was the only thing that would stop that theory from uh, from being valid. Uh, whereas good pause theory was more outside the box. Well, mine was outside the box, but it was less so outside the box. It was just more speculation because of non-specification in the rules because the rules the rules don't really specify whether like because the the thought process was like whenever a player dies a player dies it it says that the bracelet becomes undone the bracelet comes off once the once your heart rate reaches zero but it never specifies whether that bracelet becomes deactivated So I just went off of that and it just continued going. I mean, I could definitely see why people would think the the hand scanner is what it's it's scanning. I mean, I mean like, you know, it's it's just kind of how it's how it's set up it's just kind of like you you don't think anything of it that's that's what it is like you don't think anything of it unfortunately that's the wrong answer actually i'm santa well, 
What? What? <laughs> yeah, actually, I'm Santa. The clothes I'm wearing, I borrowed from Junpei. And the clothes he's wearing are mine. We had a little swap. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> Impossible. Oh, geez, Ace is triggered now. We're messing. We're we're making fun of his his disability. That's what we're doing now. We're making fun of his issues. So you're saying it's I'm like, not Santa? Of course you aren't. Why? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. One plus seven plus eight plus three equals nineteen. One plus nine would be ten. The digital route would be one. But the four of us just opened door three. You can't possibly be Santa. Your bracelet number isn't three. It's five, right? Huh? <sighs> <sighs> oh, jeez. Oh, Ace is now depressed. Ah, uh, poor Ace. You're exactly right. My bracelet number is five. Sorry, Ace. I tricked you. Of course, I'm not really Santa. I'm Junpei. Who could possibly think I was? <laughs> it's obvious I'm not. To, to think I was? Ridiculous. Ace is depressed now. <laughs> good job, Streamlabs. Ban him. Ban him, good pause. Good boy, good boy, good man. Or I guess you could actually check to see what he said. I I honestly don't know. But, you know, it's too late now. But I guess you couldn't see just how obvious it was. Banned. Yeah, you just like hitting the ban button. Good pause. <sighs> I asked you before, didn't I? What makes you so sure I'm not Santa? And you answered. If you were Santa, then door three wouldn't have opened for us just now. Most people wouldn't say something like that. The first thing that would come to anyone else's mind wouldn't be the bracelet number. There'd only be one thing they'd say. One sentence. You don't have his face. <sighs> <sighs> Poor Ace. Poor Ace, he's depressed Ace, now. you have prosopagnosia. Am I right? Prosopagnosia? What's that? No clue. Prosopagnosia is... <sighs> Very well. I confess. I have prosopagnosia. I cannot differentiate human faces. Is that what this was about? Yes. That is you all. want to mock me for my disorder? <laughs> yep. You just wanted to you just wanted to make fun of you. I just wanted to say I was Santa. No, no, not at all. I'm not making fun of you at all. In fact, I feel kinda bad for you. No, the reason I brought this up is that there's an excellent chance the person who killed Snake has prosopagnosia. Hmm? What? What do you mean? I'll just come right out with it. Huh? I think it was you, Ace. You killed him. Oh, no. <laughs> That's ridiculous. What possible evidence do you... I have three pieces of evidence. The first. Think back to a few hours ago. Come on, Ryan. Time to big brain before the game lays it out for you. Lay it on us, man. The three pieces of evidence. I don't know. <laughs> the breeze, I'm not good at like just like uh, I've said so much evidence over the past couple of days I've said so many evidence like I've said so much evidence to the point where and I've predicted so much I can't I can't just recount everything that I've said and we'd be here forever you made us argue over the three doors here in the big hospital room yes there was no way all seven people could go through them Lotus suggested that we sacrifice one of us. Yep. The the undeserved altruism. The uh, the selfless act of altruism to get everyone on his side. <laughs> yeah. Then you, Ace, said, I'll stay here. Why would you say something like that? It's pretty simple, really. Mm hmm You didn't want us to see the dead body in the oh. shower room. Well. 
Well, you did claim ace is zero. Yes, I did. I did claim ace is zero. I did. Yeah, I, I claimed ace is zero. Yeah. Uh. But I'm not exactly sure what these guys consider as evidence, because honestly, I mean, my evidence may not be as concrete as theirs, so I'm just going to let it play out. You see, if ace stayed behind, there were only two doors the rest of us could go through. Door seven and eight. There was no way we could get through door three, the shower room. Hmm. You knew that, didn't you, Ace? That's why you volunteered to stay behind. Come on now, I think that's going a bit far. I can understand if you're jealous of my bravery, but please don't devalue my actions. I only wanted to save the rest of you. Surely you can understand my altruism. Altruism, huh? <laughs> you already knew, didn't you? You knew that whichever doors we took, eventually we'd end up back in the big hospital room. What on earth are you saying? Of course I didn't know that. How could I have? Really? Yes, yes. <laughs> oh well, that's cool. I've still got two more pieces of evidence that say you're the killer. Oh snap, what's this gonna be? The second is that as I said earlier, you have prosopagnosia. I don't know what that necessarily has to do with him being the killer. I mean, I just know that's something about him. Then you mean to imply that a person who can't distinguish human faces must be a bad person? Yes, that's exactly what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Junpei, they call that prejudice. <laughs> no, I am not that stupid. Uh. Then why? Well, before I explain, I suppose there's something I should tell you. The corpse in the shower room. It's not snakes. What? I didn't put it together right away. But there was something Clover told me. She said that Snake's left arm was prosthetic. He'd lost his real arm in an accident. But yes. the body we saw in the shower room, let's call him Guy X. I don't know anything about Guy X. He's the guy who's throwing me Guy off. Guy X's left arm was definitely flesh and blood. Oh dear, Ryan being outplayed by Junpei of all people. Look, I'm not being outplayed if I already said it. Before Junpei said it, all right. I have vod. I have literally two vods of evidence, all right. Like two, three vods of evidence of me getting everything right before it happens, all right. In other words, Guy X couldn't possibly have been Snake. Uh, but his clothes. What about his clothes? God. No, that's impossible. Let's say hypothetically that the killer didn't have prosopagnosia. But what about his clothes? If that were the case, he would immediately realize that Guy X wasn't Snake. Even if the clothes were the same as Snake's, their faces would be completely different. Why do they have the same they clothes? Were different people. And yet, they still killed him. Why? Why would they kill a stranger who'd only just shown up? <sighs> On the other hand, if the killer did have prosopagnosia, it makes sense. They thought Guy X was Snake and killed him. Wait! Wait just a moment. Let's say you're right, and I mistook Guy X for Snake. Even if I did, I would have had no motive to kill him. Well, actually, I suppose he would. He would have a motive. That would be to ensure not everybody would be able to make it out through the Nine Door. Because the only way everybody would make it out through the Nine Door is if... Snake was still alive. That would be the only way. Because without Snake, it's physically impossible for anybody to get through the Nine Door. Or, well, outside of, like, you know, another combination of people that have already happened. Um, and that's why I ended up getting left behind. And all that nonsense. So... He basically ensures not everybody can actually go and survive. Why would I want to kill Snake? I can think of at least two motives. One, Snake knew about your past. If he ever revealed what he knew... Well, he did play the game. really bad for you. You really didn't want that to happen. So to make sure Snake's mouth stayed shut, you killed him. <sighs> two, Snake had a grudge against you. That doesn't say explain how uh, yeah I yeah really it's not really where snake went to that bothers me 
it's who the who is guy x i and why is he wearing the exact same clothes as snake you knew that or at least you could have easily assumed he did even without exposing your identity he was a threat to you you never knew when you might be attacked you couldn't ever let your guard down every moment was a moment he might try something you didn't want that kind of danger hanging over you so you hey hold on a minute What's the past that Ace wouldn't want us to know? That he's the president of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He's Gentoro something. Yeah. Yeah, and that company was behind the death, the, the series of, of kidnappings and the game that was played nine years ago. Why did Snake have a grudge against him? Look at this. What's this piece of paper? The Nonary game was played once before nine years ago. The person with the number two bracelet attended the game nine years ago. It was planned by the following four people. Cradle Pharmaceutical CEO Gentaro Hongo. Yeah, that's him. That's his name. What is this? It's the message from Zero. It was in the safe in the first class cabin. Give me a break. That paper is a lie. Someone is trying to frame me. Me. You said me, right? <gasps> what? I, I don't know what that means. Wouldn't that mean you're admitting you're Hongo, the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals? Or am I mistaken? Very well. I admit that much. I am certainly the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceutical, Gentaro Hongo. So what if I am? I don't know anything about this nonary game that supposedly took place nine years ago. Hmm. Everything on that scrap of paper is bullshit. Hmm. Someone is trying to set me up, you see? First of all, first of all, Junpei, you're claiming I did this all by myself. Think that over, all right? How could I have killed Snake all by myself? You took the bracelets. <laughs> Not Snake. It was Guy X. I don't care who it was. <laughs> You said the killer put this other man into door three, right? Yeah, maybe. Then I couldn't have possibly done that alone. I couldn't have opened door three with only myself and Guy X. Nope, you could have. <gasps> huh? 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 What? what? Actually, Ace, when you were unconscious, I took something from you. Remember when you were injected with that anesthetic and fell asleep in the big hospital room? Yeah, back then, I took this. No, you couldn't have. I got you, Ace. Your right hand there tells me all I needed to know. You want to tell me what you were so worried about? What's in your pocket? <clears throat> oh. <laughs> it's the number nine bracelet, isn't it? <clears throat> Ace, Guy X, and the ninth man's bracelet. That was all you needed to open door three. That's how you killed Guy X all by yourself, Ace. All you needed was the number nine bracelet in your chest pocket. <sighs> if you want to play innocent, that's fine by me. Go ahead, tell me. I don't have the bracelet, if that's what you want to do. Mm. But if you could take off your coat and hand it to me, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, we'll have to take it from you by force. Right, Seven? Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Yeah, seven. <laughs> oh, evil laughter. This is the laugh of evil. But Guy X's bracelet was a two. It would have to be. It would literally have to be a two. <laughs> but honestly, he didn't. He didn't have enough. He didn't have a bracelet at all. With at least not on his body, which I don't. I, I don't I don't know who Guy X is. He's he's the one discrepancy that I'm not understanding. Well done, Junpei. Oh jeez. As you so correctly deduced, I have the number nine bracelet. I retrieved it while we were searching for the missing hardware for the red. I left the room I was supposed to search and headed to the first class cabin on B deck. My purpose was to obtain the number nine bracelet. Nine is a potent ally in the nonary game. 
Yes, it is, and so is number one. Adding nine to any set of numbers won't alter the digital root. Yeah. As you can see, nine is a very useful number here. Very. With it, one can go anywhere with anyone. Exactly. It is, I suppose you could say, a game changer. So I made for the first class cabin to obtain it. In mere moments, I successfully acquired the number nine bracelet. There was also an unexpected bonus. The knife the ninth man had used. I quickly pocketed both of them and left. I completely forgot about the knife that the ninth man used. I made my way back to where I was expected to be. That's when I ran into Snake. Well, this guy X, actually. I spotted him ahead of me. He was heading for the large hospital room and hadn't noticed me. The man wearing Snake's clothes arrived at door three. When he stopped, I walked up behind him and called out, Snake. He turned around. He said nothing. His mouth simply hung half open. He seemed dazed somehow, almost like a man half asleep. Perhaps he had been drugged. It wasn't important. I tend to gloss over little things like that. I was certain that man was Snake. I knew Snake had taken part in the nonary game nine years ago. Being blind, it made sense that he didn't recognize me immediately upon our first meeting. But why then hadn't Snake said anything to me later? Surely he hadn't forgotten what had happened to him in the nonary game. But not once did he attempt to confront me. Did his lack of sight prevent him from fully recognizing who I was? Or perhaps Snake had conspired with Zero to deceive me? Regardless, he was a threat, and it was better to deal with him sooner rather than later. I had to get rid of him before he took action. With quick thinking, my plan went into motion immediately. I held the number nine bracelet over the red. I waved my own bracelet in front of the red and then grabbed Snake's arm and shoved his hand against the scanner panel. The door opened. I threw the man through it. <laughs> Nine seconds later, the door shut. 81 seconds passed. After that, I returned to my post as though nothing had happened. After conducting my own search, I returned to the large hospital room when the 1 a.m. bell rang. <sighs> Ace, did you kill Clover? The answer is yes, it must yes. be. Yes. Yep. <laughs> I, I had a feeling you'd do that the one time I don't go with you. But <laughs> Why? Why did you kill her? She was Snake's sister. It was possible he had told her something dangerous. Additionally, she had gone through door one. It seemed likely she might have found it. Found what? Why don't you go through door one yourself? Perhaps it's hidden somewhere. Yeah, but Lotus and I went through door one too. We didn't see anything suspicious. Yes. I thought as much after I heard your report at the central stairs. I doubt the two of you could find it. Mm -hmm. Huh? Huh? But perhaps Clover was different. Perhaps she had found it. I was, therefore, desperate to find her. And at last I did, in the first class cabin. I spoke very calmly. Did you, did you see, see it? it? See what? Don't act, act as if you don't understand. understand. You were in the, were the captain's, captain's quarters, quarters, weren't you? Hmm. Uh huh? What are you talking about? Well, she took the zero bracelet last time. Hmm. So. Very well. I guess she took it this time, too. Uh, by the way, what are you doing here, Clover? What? Uh, nothing. There's blood on your shoes. It looks fresh. Did you go take a look at the ninth man's corpse? I see. Your silence suggests that you noticed. You saw, you saw something, something, didn't you? You, you saw, saw that, his that his bracelet, bracelet was, was gone. gone. No! 
You aren't going anywhere. You're staying here. No! <laughs> Don't you run, little girl. That was how I killed Clover. You son of a bitch! <laughs> I mean, what can I say? You know, I, I, I had a feeling that, you know, uh, <laughs> Ace would end up killing Clover. Uh, it happened. Uh -huh. <gasps> huh? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry, we're all in a <laughs> gasping phase. Uh. I admit it. I've lost. I have lost. Completely and utterly. Don't misunderstand, Junpei. I didn't lose to you. I lost to Zero. Not you. <sighs> I'm rather disgusted with myself for falling into such a simple trap. I look the fool. And it was a trap. Make no mistake. I was trapped and manipulated by Zero. <sighs> the man I killed in the shower room? If he wasn't Snake, then I have no idea who he was. But he was wearing Snake's clothes, and that was no coincidence. Maybe he's maybe he's your co-workers or something? Maybe he's having the president kill his own co-workers? And then frame the president at the, at the end of it all? With weapons that are clearly uh, have his fingerprints on them? He had also been injected with something that reduced his cognition and prevented him from identifying himself or resisting me. And we can't forget the components that were removed from the red before we arrived. I have no doubt that Zero planned all of this. Zero made sure I would kill that man. <sighs> it follows, of course, that Zero knew everything I would do. That I would try to take the number nine bracelet. That I would try to kill Snake. Everything. So I'm not quite right. For the innocent lives they sacrificed, this is the only warning they will receive. That innocent souls might be saved, I now state the truth. Zero. I think Zero is one of us. Huh? Wait, how did he know that he killed Clover? Literally asked him. Literally asked him. And he just said, yeah, you know, I killed Clover. And also, it's because literally everybody identified the body as Clover. Zero is one of us. I mean, he recognizes them by their clothes. That's why everybody thought that he killed Snake, but it wasn't actually Snake. No, wait. How did Ace know? Because he only just admitted it after everybody looked at the body. Literally, everybody looked at the body and confirmed it was it was Clover. Didn't have to worry about it. He knew he killed Clover. Or he would assume he killed Clover. Before he killed her, he already knew it was her because of her clothes. Because because of her bracelet. He recognizes uh he recognizes everything but their faces. There's the faces is what he has a problem with. Snake. The man who died in the shower room is in Snake. That means he's almost certainly still alive. Yes. Maybe Snake is Zero. Maybe he made Guy X wear his clothes so that we'd all think he was dead. Hmm. Where's Snake now? What if he's off somewhere laughing at us? Laughing at us? Please, he's blind. What does he have to laugh at? Ah. <laughs> uh, <never. Maybe> <laughs> he must have been lying to us about everything else. No, you can't be. No. You can't be Zero us? because he's two. I believe I've finished with my confession. Why don't we get moving? What the hell is this shit? You aren't going anywhere, you son of a bitch! We're gonna leave your ass here to rot! Why? Because I killed Clover? That's ridiculous. Why are you so upset that I killed the little bitch? But what's an upside to down to? No, a better question is what's a sideways to? It almost looks like a goldfish. Bammo. 
Bam, zero, solved. She was nothing to you. Two a plus two equals fish. That Am is I wrong? what I've learned. You bastard! Huh. Oh. Inciting me with a punch, huh? You've got some fire, don't you? I confess, I rather like a tough woman. Oh, ace. Well, maybe you'd like another one then. Uh, before that, let me give you one of my own. Huh? If any of you so much as blink, I won't hesitate to pull this trigger. He grabbed the gun. Of course he grabbed the gun. I've already killed two, no, three people. Don't think I'm not ready to make it four. Three people? What do you mean? Hmm. Very well. Let me take this opportunity to illuminate you. The person who killed the ninth man was me. I knew it. Although I suppose to be more accurate. Well, uh, actually, I actually know it. Him to get himself killed. I thought that the I thought that zero left him instructions that would ensure his, that he would think would have ensured his survival, but uh, he's not. He's not zero. Never mind. <laughs> While we were examining the main staircase, he came to me and told me his name. I recognized it at once, so I gave him a little push. Just a little white lie. It seems the settings for the dead were altered. Now it only requires a single person to deactivate the detonator in the bracelet. I mean, maybe Ace is still zero. I mean, maybe. Maybe. Investigate what's beyond door five. We'll meet again later. And with that. Okay. Have a, Have a good, good one, one guys. guys. I'm going, I'm going off, off ahead, ahead now. now. Well, then. Why is the dumping? God damn it. You, you lied. Open the door, please. I'm begging you. Help me. Please get me out of here. Get me out of here. You put your chips down on him being zero, so I guess all you can do is hope so. I mean, I kind of put my chips down on him murdering people. I didn't put them all down on zero. I'm like 90% sure he's zero, but I mean, I was 100% sure he killed. He killed the other two. Uh, oh my god, oh my god, there's no time left. Listen, I was lied to, he lied to me. He put me in here. It was him. He killed me. I had four reasons for killing him. As I said before, in the nonary game, the number nine bracelet is of utmost importance. Okay, so 50-50 Ace did kill people, but let's be real, he wasn't zero. Yeah, I mean... I had a feeling he was zero because he put himself at an advantage. And honestly, zero kind of struck me as potentially the type of person who would be involved in his own game. Just for the sake of it, just for the kicks. If I had allowed him to keep such a useful tool, he or it would have become a threat to me. But I guess zero wouldn't put his own life at risk, so I guess it makes sense. Just a little bit. As such, I decided that he should be eliminated early on. I wanted the number nine bracelet. If I could manage to obtain it, I would be able to manipulate the game as I saw fit. I would be unable to acquire the bracelet unless its owner was dead. That's the second reason. Even setting aside his number, he would have been nothing but trouble for me. He was aware of my past. He knew what happened here nine years ago. It was important that I eliminate him before he was able to disseminate this information. Lastly, I wished to conduct a simple test. A test to see if this nonary game was serious or a poor attempt at a joke. I needed to be quite sure. As such, I encouraged him to act against the rules so that I might observe the outcome. I don't get your third motive. What the hell happened nine years ago? Didn't I say? The nonary game was played. I planned it out and I conducted its execution. So he was the original zero. So I mean, I'm not completely wrong. He's the original zero, you know. Yeah, he played as the zero in the in the first game. So why? What on earth was it supposed to do? 
I don't really think I have any obligation to tell you that. Hey, what's with this gun? Hey, you're just now noticing that? Yeah, that's that's a gun. Where did he get this? Why don't you tell her, Santa? On the other side of door six, we found the gun in the coffin in the cargo room, right? I don't think there was a zero on the last one. Well, I mean, if there wasn't, then inherently, like, Ace would be the zero of that game. You know, you arrange the game, the zero of this game arrange the game. Both have the same exact responsibilities. Bastard must have grabbed it when we weren't looking. I mean, if supposedly they arranged the game. I mean, that's what the paper said. It said he was one of the people that arranged it, so he would be. Indeed, I did. That was a pretty serious mistake, you know. Just saying you intended to leave it behind. Well, there isn't much time left. I'll be off then. Well, where are you going? Do I really need to explain? I had assumed it would be obvious. I have the number nine bracelet. And now I have Lotus. Wasn't there a door with a nine on it in the room that looked like a church? Yes, you're just now remembering that? That's where you're going, isn't it? And how do you know that? Santa told me about it while we were looking for Clover. I see. Well, you are correct. That is my destination. But now I must say goodbye to all of you. Wait. Let me save. Oh. Ah, and please, don't forget my warning. Move and I'll pull the trigger. I don't need her alive to open the door, you know. Shit. He's getting away! But we can't risk it. Now, Lotus, open the door for me if you would. Huh. Goodbye. <laughs> Damn it! Uh. Fantastic. Hey, June, what happened? Are you all right? Jesus, you're burning up. Your fever's back. Are you okay? I'm okay. Really, I'm fine. You should be worrying about Lotus. But... Jumpy, don't worry about me. Huh? I just need a little rest. I'll be fine. Uh, that's not, that's not, no, that's not Jumpy. That's, that's, uh, that's Santa. Don't you remember? I just needed to rest a little bit last time. No, that's, uh, that's not Jumpy, that's Santa. Huh? So please, please save Lotus. Think about what Ace has already done, Junpei. When he's got what he needs from Lotus, you really think he's just gonna let her walk away? Damn it. You guys go on ahead. As soon as June starts feeling better, we'll follow you. Go! Ugh. Huh. All right. Come on, Seven. We're going after Ace. All right. Hell yeah! Hell yeah. Santa, you take good care of June. I'm trusting you. Got it. Let's go! I don't see them. You think they already went through? Uh, maybe. Let's check the red. Nope, they're not Engaged. here. Oh, wait. No. It's occupied. They're in. That means Ace and Lotus went through here. Yeah, it, it seems like it. What do we do now? Yeah, uh, what should we do? Uh, well, the big door is still vacant, but... The two of us can't do anything with it. Yeah, not even counting how our digital route isn't nine. Uh, here we go. What's that sound? It's coming from over there. We just. Uh. Copy. 
paste. There we go. The coffin. Yeah. Let's open it. How? By force. What? No, not by force. As since when has that ever helped us? I don't think that's gonna happen. Yeah. It's... Well, you never know till you try, right? The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer 1,000 failures. Well, I don't think I have time for 1,000 failures, Junpei. Who said that? I, I forget. <laughs> anyway, we've got to try. <laughs> Damn it! See? Didn't I tell you? If you could just pull it open, why would it have something like that? Right. So unless I put in the right passcode, it's not going to open. Was there some sort of clue somewhere? Hey, Junpei. Hmm? I remember you mumbling about some weird numbers over by the bathroom in the first class cabin. Yeah, I got them right you here. You got those numbers by solving the secret message Clover was holding, right? Mm hmm Truth had gone. Or... Something like that. Yeah, that's right. What about it? Well, maybe that number's the passcode for this thing, too. Come on, that's impossible. It's possible. Those numbers were the code to unlock that safe. Yeah, but the person who set up that safe in this coffin is the same person, right? Zero set up both of these. Boy, this feels familiar. Yeah, probably. <laughs> well, then they might have set the same passcode for both of them. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, you just set the same password. You, know, you just... just try it. I mean... It's not like you'll make things any worse. It'd just be a waste of time. There's no way they're the same number. Oh, come on, let's just try it. How do you know that? You never know until you try. Yeah, exactly. The only necessity for success is the willingness to suffer a thousand failures. Ah, use it by words against me. How dare you? He's evolving. <laughs> Who said that? Try 9999. Nine, nine. You. Good idea. Ah, fine. One four three eight. Okay, good. Three four two one. I didn't have to remember that. Thank goodness. What? It's the same you password. You gotta be kidding me. It's just the same password. Snake. Snarky. You. Why? Ah, those voices. Junpei and Seven, unless I'm mistaken. Where are the others? Are they elsewhere? Uh. Huh? Hmm. I see. I believe I got the gist of everything. Have I been sufficiently caught up? Yeah. <clears throat> but that still doesn't explain why you were trapped in here. Yeah, why, why, how? We've still got no clue about Zero's true identity, let alone why the hell he's doing all this. Why did he put Guy X in Snake's clothes? Is all this stuff somehow related to that notary game that was played nine years ago? Hmm. Hey, Snake, do you know anything? Um, what are you talking about? I apologize, but I have no idea what you're saying. Snake, I dig your new threads. Yeah, you know, they are... They're pretty good threads, you know? It's like a very much a devil worshipper kind of look, you know? Oh, come on. Just tell us if you know. I don't know what to tell you. How can I know something I don't? Because you're a Jedi. We're obviously. running out of time. We need to go after Ace. What do we do now? The three of us can't make a digital route of nine. Yeah, we just get five. We're stuck here, then. Oh. Hey, I just remembered something. Is there something we should know about Snake? Uh, he played the game ages ago. And for two, we got the code we need for the other place so we can leave. What? <laughs> and uh, he's bracelet number two. What is yeah. it? Yeah. I, uh, I found something earlier. Which means I can leave in the other world. What did you find? This. Zero. Zero. Zero's bracelet. You can use you can use Clover's band. Bloom, boom, nine. What uh, did you say? Are you saying that seven has the number zero bracelet? Yeah. In the other world, yeah, you know, the other timeline, you know. 
Where did you get that? Clover gave it to me. Why would Clover give you it? She did? Yeah. How did she come by it? Because she went into the place with with uh, Ace. Well, she found it. See, on the other side of door one, A deck, in the captain's quarters. That's a different timeline. How would Junpei know the code? Magic. She asked me to hold on to it because it was too big and bulky for her to be lugging around. He's lying. Clover is zero. Clover is not zero. <laughs> he even told us earlier. I haven't actually looked at it yet. Didn't want to disturb the crime scene, you know? Well, I did borrow one thing. He probably said that so Snake doesn't find out about Clover. All right, Junpei. Been nice knowing you. Wait, what? Come on, man. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that's what, how's that to say? Still, just in case, I want to make sure the zero bracelet gets picked up by the red. Snake, give me a hand, all right? Don't, don't leave me, you guys, please. What? Wait, hey, hey. Huh? Why isn't it opening? Um. Okay. All right, good, good. Well, good. the third asterisk lit up, so it must have registered the zero bracelet. Maybe it isn't actually zero. Huh? What? Huh? That bracelet may not actually produce the number zero when scanned. That is what I'm saying. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't we try a few different combinations? Perhaps we can determine what number that bracelet actually contains. Mm. Oh, got it. I decided to use the following combination. Uh, Snake, Junpei, plus seven, and plus the bracelet. Maybe it's like a wild card bracelet. Maybe it's like, uh, it's, it is whatever you want it to be. Let's try all three of us and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is four. Nope. Oh. It didn't open. Then this bracelet is not four. Then. Uh. Let's try it. Let's try snake, me, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is two. It didn't open. I guess it's not two. Then. Right. Let's try me, seven, and the bracelet. If this combination works, then the number for this bracelet is six. It's six. All well, right. It opened. That's weird. Yes. So it would seem. It was very weird. That means the bracelet is actually six. But how is that possible? The display on the bracelet clearly shows a zero. Oh man, that's not good. I guess our time's just about up, huh? Oh yeah, that's right. Let's leave. At any rate, we know now that the door can be opened. Let's go. <laughs> See, let's just ditch everybody. But Snake, are you sure? Yeah. You know that only Junpei and I can go through this way. You needn't worry. I have a solution to this problem. Oh, yeah, he's Snake. Come on, he's literally a Jedi Master. My last resort. But if now is not the time for last resorts, then when? Last? Resort? Surprised me there, kid. I couldn't figure out how the hell you were gonna get out of that one. How come you didn't do that right off the bat? As I told you, it was a last resort. 
had I used it at the beginning of the game, I would have come under a great deal of suspicion. Whoa, what did, wait, what did you do? I imagine that most people would have taken it to mean that I was zero. Once they'd convinced themselves of that, I wasn't optimistic about my chances of making it out of here alive, let alone unscathed. I felt it best to play my cards close to the chest, as it were. That way, if I were in a situation where there was nothing else I could do... Is Snake allowed to be any number? I'd have a little trick up my sleeve. Is Snake not actually two? Snake is actually just I'd whatever just number he wants? Off. Oh. Oh wait, no, it's talking about, yeah, it's talking about his stupid bracelet being on his left hand, and so, yeah, yeah, it's because, yeah, I, I, I brought this up earlier. My brother's left arm is, um, it's not like a normal person. Yeah, I brought this up earlier. Yeah. It's fake. It's not a real arm. <laughs> I know this is kind of a weird thing to say, but I'm glad that's a fake arm. So he couldn't, he can't blow up, even if he tried, so have to be afraid of the door if you don't got a bracelet. You are correct. I think these stairs connect to the bottom deck. Doesn't look like it's underwater. I predicted it ages ago. My brain too big? <laughs> yeah. I predicted something, right? I predicted that ages ago. <laughs> Let's go through that door. Incinerator? Oh my. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Do you see a lever near the gate, perhaps? Yeah, right over here. How did you know that? Well, I'd be happy to regale you with the story. I imagine it should only take half a day or so. Well, he still could blow up so long as he kept the bracelet with him when he went through a door. Oh, yeah. Ugh. <sighs> If you pull it, the door ought to open. Got it. <sighs> He's here again. What? Why? Why is there another one? Warning. Warning. Emergency incineration command. Has been acknowledged. Automatic incineration will take place in nine minutes. Of course, it's nine minutes. Why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be nine minutes? Please evacuate the incinerator immediately. Oh my! How exciting! You've run quite a show here, Zero. What's the matter? Too frightened to understand? Here, let me explain. It's said that the incineration system is about to activate. In nine minutes, this room will be engulfed in flame. Hmm. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm hurt. It's me, Snake. Snake? It's Snake. Oh, uh, yes. You are alive. I'm afraid your bizarre style had me confused. I'm quite glad to see that you're alive. Hmm. If you don't mind my asking, how did you get here? Snake, Junpei, Seven. The three of you couldn't have opened a door with a nine. Hmm. Did you use Clover's bracelet, perhaps? What? Ah, well. Your reaction suggests that you did not. That's right, he doesn't know. Uh, hold on! Why did you think we'd have Clover's bracelet? Oh, they haven't told you? Told me what? Hmm. Clearly not. Normally, I would take some time and enjoy the moment. But I'm afraid my time is at a premium just now. I'll have to make this quick. Clover. Don't do it, Ace! Keep your goddamn mouth shut! Clover. I said stop it! Don't listen to him, Snake. What happened to Clover? Clover died. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's a lie. It has to be a lie. Oh, it's quite true. I can assure you of that. I killed her myself, you see. Yeah, you know, I, I killed her myself. <laughs> what? 
Oh, he opened his eyes. I'm sorry, did I stutter? Is he not blind? I killed her. <sighs> I would have rather she died with less suffering. A bullet in her brain, perhaps, would have been ideal. Unfortunately, that would have made quite a bit of noise. Circumstances being what they were, I was forced to settle for the knife. The one the ninth man had, you remember. <laughs> I believe I caught her just below the shoulder blade. I was rather lucky, in fact. My first thrust went right between her ribs. Q's duel of the fates. <laughs> her flesh was so soft. My knife slid in so easily. There was no resistance. Well, I'm pretty sure it's safe to say I was right. Uh, I was right. Uh, you know, Ace is the bad guy. That feeling was... I confess, I feel rather excited. It is a powerful memory. Someday, perhaps, I hope I can feel it again. Incineration will begin in... But not zero. No, he's not zero. He's not zero. In fact, he's one. <laughs> he's one, not zero. Seven minutes. I'm going to kill you. Hmm? What was that? I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Ah, so you're going to kill me. Please do. Come now. I'm waiting. Uh, he's a, he may be blind, but he's, he's he's a Jedi Master. Don't do it! Don't listen to him, Snake! Stop it, kid. He's screwing with your head. Is there a problem? What are you waiting for, boy? Don't you want me to send you to join your sister? Don't! The snake! Don't do it! <gasps> 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 Give me the woman. I need her. Without her bracelet, I will be unable to open this door. Quickly now! I don't have time for your shenanigans. I see. Then it would seem I have no choice. The rest of you must die as well. Fortunately, I have five bullets left. One for Junpei, another for Lotus, and the last three for that lump of idiotic man you call Seven. I will take Lotus's body with me and leave this room. Incineration will begin in four minutes. Well, it looks as though our time together is at an end. I rather enjoyed playing with you. Damn it! Goodbye. Kill you. Oh, oh, he's up. What? He's he's still up. No, that's impossible. He's still up. Snake, yeah, a snake can take more than one. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. St stay away from me. Get back. <laughs> Stop. If you come any closer, I'll, I'll get away from me. Yeah, Snakey. It's <sighs> Snake. Listen to me. I said don't come any closer. Shit. You bastard. Oh, you tanking all the bullets. Incineration will begin in three minutes. <laughs> Finally, you're hell. Oh, he's still up. He's still up. He's going. You won't get away. You, you son of a bitch. You, you're a monster. He's too good. Get off me. Let me go, damn you. This is it, Ace. We're going to burn to death together. What? Incineration will begin in. Well, well. Yeah, damn it. 
Damn you! Get off! Let me go, you monster! Oh, he's not okay. letting go. Okay, okay, look. Think about it this way. My company owns a wonderful hospital. It has excellent doctors. Ah, please, Snake. Snake doesn't need no doctor. You're, you're not wounded too seriously. I, I'm sure they can fix you up easily. You don't have to die. You could be saved. Just let me go. <laughs> Pathetic. Begging for your <coughs> life. Snake, that's enough. You can stop now. Yes, he's right, Snake. You've done enough. He's too, on, he's too much of a beast. Let's get out of here. You have to come with us. We have to leave together. I apologize, but I'm afraid I can't do that. You'd best forget about me. You, you need to leave soon. I'm going to take him with me. Yeah, you're, he's not wounded too bad. He just tanked like six bullets to the chest. So. Shut up! Be quiet! I couldn't save Clover. My sister died because of me. Perhaps this will begin to atone for that. Perhaps in the afterlife she can forgive me. Now go. Go now. You have to go. Incineration will begin in one minute. God damn it! Shit! We're out of time! We gotta go! <sighs> uh, Junpei, what are you doing? You have to get out of here Yeah, now. yeah, I have to get out of here. Snake! Snake! Snake. Wait! Don't be an idiot, Junpei! No! No! I have to help Snake! 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 Get off of me! Let me go! Incineration will begin in 10 seconds. Oh no. Seven. Six. Damn it, I don't get a choice, kid! Don't blame me for this, alright? Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Zero. Gates two and three are locked down. Beginning incineration. <laughs> He's... Sure! Sure! <laughs> Damn you all! Why? Why? Why me? I don't deserve this! SME! SME Zero! Why? Why? Zero! Zero! Yep, he's done for. Yeah, it's safe to say he's screwed. <sighs> hey, wait! Junpei! Junpei, where are you going? You stay here. I'll go get Santa and June. You're gonna bring them here? How? Don't worry about that. Just stay here and wait, all right? <laughs> I saw an elevator on the way here. If I can get it to work, then maybe... Please work. Yes. June! Santa! And they're not here. Uh, damn it. Where did they go? I, I, I couldn't tell you. I don't know where they're at. Oh no, they're dead. 
Oh, uh, no. Mysterious murderer person. Oh, uh, jeez. Mysterious murderer person killed them. Is that what happened? Honey. No, no. It, it can't be. It's it's impossible. Oh, Connie. Connie. Connie, are you all right? Jumpy? Uh. Oh man. Connie, what the hell happened to you? You you feel Jumpy. I'm sorry. I uh, I might not make it. What has happened? No. No way. No way. I am going to let you die. I Thank you, Jumpy. Thank you so much oh, for everything. I was really happy to see you again, Jumpy. Really happy. Oh, don't give me that I was crap. You're going to see me again lots it's of It's an times. Uncle Ben moment. It's an Uncle Ben moment. It's just going to happen over and over again until we get the ending right. You just gotta hang on, all right, Connie? Jumpy, did you know you meant a lot to me when we were kids? I liked you for a long time, <laughs> Junpei. Oh, we... uh. Zero. You son of a bitch! Where are you hiding?! What the hell are you talking about? No. No, it hasn't. I'm not gonna let it end yet. I'm gonna get out of here with Connie. Why? The wrong path? What are you talking about? I told you! I am not going to lose! What? Connie, wait here. I'll be right back, I promise. Uh. Damn it. Where are you? It doesn't matter. I need to get Connie out first. C C Connie! Oh god. No. No. Where is she? Connie. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, Connie! 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 Ah, I don't know where she uh, went. Wait. This is... White smoke. Just like how I got kidnapped. Oh. I got gassed again. <sighs> the end, or is it? I'll be right back. Stay here. Okay. All right. <laughs> Chance of loss is not zero. Connie slash TP zero. Well, now I'm one step closer. Would you like to save? Yes. 
All right. Well, the game has changed. I have a different path is unlocked. I don't know where, where is this supposed to go? What is this supposed to be dependent on? Yeah, I have only two endings left and they're right at the end. They are literally right at the end. So I guess we'll do this one. We'll do this one next. Good fellas, you able to hang in there? One right, one wrong. And a secret one, right? Well, no. I don't. Oh, crap, I accidentally. No, I don't wanna. No, I accidentally pressed back. Ah, jeez. I don't wanna start over. Don't make me do it. I think this one's the right one. This one is for sure the right one. That one for sure has to be... The, the, this one on the left has to be the right one. There's no way it's not. So now Good Pause gets to see what happens here. Hey, let me... Let me see. All right, let's go. That's the next door. Wait. A piece of paper. A piece of paper? Is... Wait. Map of the ship's interior oh, okay. for A deck. Oh, yeah. Fun, yeah. Fun, fun Europa, yeah. What route? Wait, what route did I click? What's wait, wrong? I, wait, I can change it? Can I, like, change? Can I, like, can I, like change it, like, from here? This isn't the this isn't the route that I took. I took this side. I went all I went all left first go around. How do I how do I switch it to the left? Can I not switch it to the left? Left one's very long, the right one's not so much. Okay. Alright, that decides it. <laughs> We're doing this one. <laughs> But also because I'm pretty sure the left Look, one is the, the left one's the one. Seven and Lotus. We've got a problem. All right, I don't know what decision needs to be made here. Clover is gone. All right, skip. We're skipping. <clears throat> Really just had this. Am I able to switch? Like switch my routes? Or is this gonna get all of a sudden give me another another route to go? I'm not exactly sure how this is supposed to work. It's just gonna give me another decision now. I don't know what it's gonna do. Yeah, you can change the change the path by clicking the split you wanna take. Oh, there you are. Were you looking for something in the hallway? Okay, by clicking the split that I want to take. So, what path? So, oh, let me just load, load this. Load this room. You guys ready? Okay, there we go. All right, so now let's throw it down here. Wait. No, it's locked now. It's locked. <clears throat> Wait, I don't know what it wants me to do. 
Is it talking about this? Do I have to go down here? This is where it wants me to go. Take path without the red keys. That's this one though. Okay, so I need to choose the path that Are you ready? Wait, the red lock is good? Oh. Red lock is good? This says it's unlocked now. <laughs> Wait. Okay, it says up here, this is unlocked now. You want the lock on the right side to be closed? That's what you want? Okay, so in that case. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. Now we go this over here. She's not here. No, she isn't. There's no sign of her. Let's go. There you go. I'm now right. on track for a new ending. Okay, we good, should good, probably good, good. split up. I'll head back to the stairs and take that. June, you can take the stairs. All right, it's that not, sounds good. It's not letting me auto but, skip. Um, what? Could you stop calling me by that code name when we're alone? What? Excuse me? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, sure, right. I, um, I'll, I'll do that. <clears throat> um, yeah, yeah, sure. Jumpy. Jumpy? Jumpy, oh, that's um, me. Uh, no, it's nothing. All right, I'm going then. Yeah, be careful. Congratulations, Ace is bad guy. Ah, oh, come on, good pause. You were so close. I mean, like, you know, he just used flex tape. He taped himself back together. You be careful too, Jumpy. Yeah, got it. Take care. All right, good pause. We're going for the final endings. Yep, good pause. Congratulations. You will now forever be remembered as the person who came up with the flex tape theory. Tragedy always strikes when one least expects it. But to wait for a man to stand behind him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Wait for a man to stand before striking him down almost seems crueler than dealing the fatal blow while he lies on the ground. A light in a dark place, June's smile had given him both hope for escape and possibly for something else. It was that hope that raised his spirits just enough that they might soon be fully dashed. He opened the elevator door and there she was. A woman sat slouched against the wall. Lotus. Junpei felt his blood turn to ice. Her body was limp and her skin smooth and pale as always. Was covered in bright red blood. Oh, this is... this is ace all over it. Junpei felt his chest constrict. He couldn't breathe and his legs began to shake. A slow, cold drop of sweat trickled down his back. He felt his stomach somersault. Junpei's mind went blank and all of his thoughts were placed with an endless, hissing white. Driven by mo little more than instinct, he began to walk toward Lotus slowly. Each slow movement of his stiff limbs brought him closer to her corpse. Finally, he stood next to her. Robotically, he bent down and put his hand on her neck. <laughs> there was no pulse. No rise and fall of breathing. She was slightly warm. 
something somewhere. Somewhere in Ju Junpei's mind, shaken. But somewhere in Junpei's mind, shaken mind, and told him that, uh, told him <clears throat> that meant she had been killed recently. Yes, Junpei thought. His mind slowly returning, he had been killed. She had been killed. S someone had killed her. There was a deep cut on the left side of her chest. Blood still oozed from it, although clearly her heart had stopped beating some time ago. The weapon had been a knife then. Perhaps she had been stabbed in the heart once. She would have died immediately. He took little comfort knowing she must have suffered very little. Only then did Junpei notice. Lotus's bracelet was gone. Lastly, Lotus discusses how to remove the bracelets. One, you escape from this ship. Two, for the Hoopley, which is zero. In the past, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, or the backside of the Marin's heartbeat has fallen to zero, it will shut down automatically. Was that why the killer had ended Lotus's life? So that they might have the number 8 bracelet. If that was true, then the killer was whoever wanted the number 8 bracelet. Or perhaps more accurately, the person who would gain the most by obtaining the number 8 bracelet. Who is that? Who would benefit the most from gaining the number 8 bracelet? The thought had just entered, his, entered Junpei's mind when... Uh, he had heard a noise. A sound like a sharp knife cutting through wet meat. It struck him as strange that the noise came from inside his own body. A moment later, the pain hit him. It wasn't merely pain. There was heat, extreme heat as well. He felt as though molten iron had been splashed against the side of his body. Finally, his brain made the connection. He had been stabbed. But where? His body was quickly going numb. He couldn't tell where the knife had met his flesh. Given the circumstances, however, he had most likely been stabbed in the back. However, whoever killed Lotus had now done the same to Junpei as well. His voice was little more than a weak groan. With what little strength he had left, Junpei turned his body trying to catch a glimpse of his attacker. But as he did, the knife dug itself in deeper, twisting viciously. He collapsed onto the floor, a puppet with its strings cut. His arms and legs lay where they fell, oddly twisted and awkwardly positioned. Junpei's body was entirely numb. He could feel the blood leaking out of him, but nothing would move. Nothing save his eyes. As he lay on the floor, his life ebbing away, Junpei finally saw his attacker. Two tiny images of the killer reflected in his eyes. That recognition came nothing. He felt no emotions, not anger, not sadness, not regret. The paralysis that claimed his body had reached his mind. His killer glanced down at his body. Then, without a word, climbed into the elevator and was gone. His eyesight began to fade, the world grew blurry, and began to dissolve into an empty white fog. The fog crept into the edges of his mind and worked in ex, in ex words forward, inward, inexorably inward. Soon it swallowed up the last that remained of Junpei's mind and his consciousness left him. There was nothing more. Into utter emptiness he fell. Into zero. Whatever Junpei had, had been was gone. Bad end. We got bad end. Well, talking about Clover, you might want to check the out the last short ending. I think Paws might like it. There's another... There's another ending? Where? Where's the other ending? Which one?
Which one is it? Um, this is, um, take the center path and go left. You said that one was really long, though. Um, I'm going to go to the bathroom. Are you ready? Uh, before that. Take the center path and go left. Oh, that. All right, let's go. No, no, the, the real ending is long. Okay, so it's another ending. Oh, yeah, that's right. It would be on the left side because, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got to take a piss. Hold on a second. I'll be back, you guys. Hold on. Hold on. I've returned. <sighs> uh. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Shifty. Shifty had the chat all to himself. Wow. Grand pop. <laughs> the grand pop of one of Shiftopia. <laughs> well. <laughs> all hail Shift. Grand Lord Shifty. <laughs> All right. Yeah, good. Good pause is really gonna like this one. He he hasn't seen anything down the left side. So Wait, a piece of paper. This is map of the ship's interior for a deck. <clears throat> What's wrong? I found a map for this floor. I see. Well, that was Ace. anticlimactic. I should keep this, though. Hey, uh, where's Clover? Damn it. What the hell is she up to? Clover! Huh? All right, Clover, are you doing the same things you were doing before? Did you pocket this, this number zero bracelet? <gasps> what the hell are you doing? Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? What the hell is that? No, you, you, uh, did you pocket what? both bracelets this time? You've got something in your pocket. What is it? Oh, this? Uh, um, this is... Hmm, I wonder. Wait. What the hell? Come on, we gotta hurry. Huh? Clover, what's that on your back? 
A stick. Oh, that's new. That's new. Hey, a stick. Clover, what the hell's that thing on your back? Is she ignoring me? A stick. I wasn't here last crying time. Crying out loud. She is zero. She is gonna kill everybody. <laughs> the big stairs. Huh. So this is where it ends up. Just like it says on the map. Ace. Did he head down? Oh, there he is. Okay. Oof. All right. Ace is in the same Look, place he was the before. The four others are there too. Really? Let's join them. She's gonna beat you down with Junkie, a stick. The fur weapon of choice. That's right, good father. She's zero. After What's all. <laughs> we found it. Found what? We found it. Yeah, what the number nine find? door. They find it they found it before the me. The last door! We found door nine. Wait, what? Come on! Just follow us. We'll explain on the way. Okay. Well, if that's the case. Wait for me. We should get going as well. Jumpy! We finally made it! Yeah, it's finally time. We've reached the end. But something's bothering me. Only three to five people can go through the numbered door. So in this route, uh, Junpei never spoke to Clover about the four-leaf Clover that calmed her down. Yeah, um... Yeah, that I, I gave her the four-leaf Clover in my, in my first playthrough. Um, so I have no clue what she's gonna do. <laughs> Seven of us are on our way to door nine. That means that, best case scenario, there will be two of us who have to stay behind. Two people. Is there a way? 4.30. We've only got 90 minutes left. I've got no time to wonder about it now. Hey! Junpei! June! What the hell are you two doing? Hurry it up! Let's go, Jumpy! Yeah. Hey, what about door two? Hmm. This is new. What about door two? Door two is the only one we didn't... We haven't gone through it, I mean. Oh, we know where... We actually know where Snake yes, is already. that is true. They don't. We can't. Are you guys okay with that? Not investigating it, I mean? So what? We found door nine. We don't need any of the other doors. What's the point? Huh? What's the point in going to door nine? Hmm. Huh. We can't all go through it. Right? Hmm. And we should do what we have to do before we go any further. Hmm. It's like a jigsaw puzzle. The best way to finish it quickly is to do the border pieces first. You know? Uh. Or what? You think all seven of us should go to door nine? And then we argue over who stays behind and who gets to go? Do we really want to do that again? <laughs> who knows? If we check out door two, maybe we'll find something. Maybe we can find a way to get all of us out. Huh. I don't know what might be in there. We may not find anything. But don't you think it'd be better to at least have a look? I mean, am I wrong? Does that sound wrong to you guys? Hmm. <sighs> yeah, you do have a point. The last time I checked the clock, it was 4.30. It's not like we've got a lot of time, but if we're quick about it, we might have time to take a look. All right, let's take You're a look. Right. Let's go take a look at door two. The elevator can take us down to door two. Who shall go then? Let's see. Me. I'm going. Then June, seven, and I need to go with her. Hey, why do you get to... I don't mind. We'd only waste time arguing over it. Jumpy, I'm okay too. See? Can we just go now? Ah, <sighs> fine. All right, let's get going. I'll see you later. All right, peace. Okay, be careful. Lotus, would you be so kind as to go with me? 
Where are you going, Ace? Go with you. Well, I didn't think people still talked that way outside of the 1950s. <laughs> well, I'm a mother. Would that be a problem for you? <laughs> uh, that wasn't what I meant to. I was hoping you would come with me. <laughs> Seriously, though, I was kidding. <laughs> so, where was it you wanted to take me? There's something I wanted to show you. Hey, man, what the hell? I'm not important enough? Yeah, whoa, whoa, whoa. You don't want to show me anything, huh, Ace? Huh? Well, it's not like that. What, what, is, what is this nonsense, Ace? Wait, wait you, want, you want number eight? What? Once I've shown Lotus, I'll show you. <laughs> hey, hey. <laughs> hey, I don't, I don't like what you're... I, I don't like where this is going here, Ace. I feel like I'm having some deja vu here. Really? <laughs> of course. Fine. Do whatever you want. Uh, Thanks, Junpei. No, 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 no. Are you coming, Lotus? Fine. <laughs> Doesn't look like they're going to be back anytime soon. No, 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 no. I might as well go and see whatever it is you think is so important. It's it's a it's a knife in Thank the you. back. Thank you. Yeah. Well then, shall we go? <laughs> He's such a smug <laughs> bastard. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're so slow. And what's keeping Ace and Lotus? Yep, here comes Ace. He's like, hey, I'm back. I had to show Over. her something. <laughs> I guess you're the first one back. What? Where's everybody else? What happened? Where is it? Where is everybody? Where are Ace and Lotus? Uh. When Ace pulls out his big secret weapon, he wants to be one of one. He's not a big group play kind of guy. No, he's kind of playing it for himself. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, Ace said he wanted to show Lotus something, so they went into that hallway. Oh, then they went over there? Yeah, yeah, they went over there. Yeah, I think so. So where are June, Santa, and Seven? Why aren't they with you? You really want to know? I don't like where this is going. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, sure. Here, let me show you. Huh? Bracelets. Oh my god. Oh, holy shit. No. No, 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 no way. No way. This, this has got to be some kind of joke. This... This can't be real. Huh. By the way, this, this makes more sense in novel mode. Junpei's body felt like rubber. His heart felt like a cold lump in his chest, and his hands shook uncontrollably. Sweat poured down his face. The three bracelets sat there on the floor before him. He could see the numbers on their faces. Three. Seven. Oh. Six. Clover, why did you... Okay, so if you don't calm down Clover, she kills everyone. But why? Junpei's voice was flat and broken. Clover's response was cold. Revenge for my brother. Huh? He was forced into door three and murdered. You need at least three people to open a door. Who were the two that opened that door with him? It could only have been Santa and Seven. That's why I killed them. Two plus three plus seven equals twelve. Why? Why did you kill June? Why did you kill June? Because she tried to protect them. She was in my way. She had to die too. Oh. No. Oh. Junpei shook his head, trying desperately to wake himself from what he had to have been a dream. No. No. It couldn't be real. It just couldn't. Hey, Junpei. 
Uh, don't do it. Don't you dare do it. He felt Clover's hand on his shoulder. Uh... Her smile was wrong. Horribly wrong. Her face looked like a mask made from stretched human skin. Uh, the smile that parted her lips did not extend to her eyes. They were dead and empty. The girl in front of him was no longer the clover he had known. Perhaps she was not even human. Let's go. <laughs> her hand reached out toward him. Let's get out of here. Let's leave this ship. What the hell are you talking about? To, to open a numbered door, you... Yes, I know. You need at least three people. But as long as we have this... Once again, Clover reached into her pocket and pulled something out. That's... It was another bracelet. Junpei could see the number on the face. Zero. The zero bracelet. You've got, got something, something in your, in your pocket. pocket. What, what is, is it? it? Oh, uh, this? Uh, uh, um, this, this is... is... Dot, 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 dot. See? You get it now? If we have the zero bracelet, we can leave. You and I can open door nine with just the two of us. Four plus five plus zero is nine, but except... <laughs> it's not... It's not zero, See? though. So let's go. I mean, I appreciate the offer. And, you know, actually, I'm almost down for this because, you know, Ace is off murdering Lotus somewhere. And, you know, we can leave. And Ace can't get out. I'm liking this plan. Honestly, kind of into it. Hurry up. She shoved out her hand again. <laughs> Take it. Junpei looked up at Clover. She had the face of a demon. But there was something else. There was a holy light that surrounded her. She was both a fierce god and a, bene and a benevolent goddess, filled with love. Junpei? Yeah, I mean, I'm trying. I'm trying to give her my hand, but I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm not able to. <laughs> her voice was soft. Her eyes weren't empty anymore. They were deep. So deep, Junpei could feel himself falling into them. He felt dizzy. There was something oddly bewitching about her. His mind was beginning to crack and his heart began to melt. Junpei. The hand she was offering him. It looked so soft, so inviting. <sighs> Clover. Junpei reached out with his own trembling hand and closed, closed it over to hers. Yeah? Uh... She's a demon. Junpei writhed in agony. <laughs> he shuddered and twitched, his body spasming as he went into shock. <laughs> he screamed until his throat was torn and bloody, then screamed more. His cries echoed across the room. Eventually, his movement slowed and then faded. There was no more strength left in Junpei. <laughs> He could feel his body begin to go numb. He no longer felt pain. He no longer felt anything. Whatever Jinpei had been was gone. The last remnants of his mind began to fade. Even as his vision faded to nothingness, he saw Clover. Thanks, Jinpei. I'm just going to borrow this, okay? Her smile was cold. <sighs> What was left of Junpei's consciousness, my conscious mind, drifted away. All that was left was a twisted, broken corpse. You weren't using your left arm, right? Oh, he just chopped off my hand. Just chopped off my hand. So to a certain degree, she was right. She could take out three people at once. Apparently... I mean, she has. She's pretty good with an axe. She is pretty good with an axe. 
So if you don't ever calm down Clover, she, yeah, if you if you never calm Clover down, then then she'll just kill everyone because she'll think everyone's against her. So what now? You want to uh, visit the fun Yorimpa or something else? That was the best ending yet. It was a pretty good ending. Um, okay, fine. We'll do fun Yorimpa and then uh, and then we'll do the the true ending. All right. Operating room. That's not right. That's not right. Is it? Yeah, it's up here. Yeah, yeah. Second class cap. It's, here we are. What's the deal with this picture, anyway? I... I think I've seen this picture before. The true ending is long, by the way. Like, two to three hours long. Why? Why is it two to three hours long? Okay, I guess we won't do the true ending tonight. I'll die if I do that. Where? In a book. There's a British biochemist named Sheldrake. He has a rather interesting theory. I saw this picture in his book. What's this interesting theory? Morphogenetic fields, which relies on the theory of morphic resonance. Man, I can't deal with this. Just listening to you talk about it is giving me a headache. It's not a difficult concept to grasp. In essence, he states that the shape of living organisms and their behavioral patterns are transmitted through a field not visible to the eye. Uh, what part of that isn't difficult, exactly? All right, how about this? Theory of the telepathic mechanism. Telepathy? Yes, telepathy. Well, perhaps not exactly telepathy, but it's close enough for a simple approximation. <laughs> are you serious? Telepathy? Who do you think we are? Kids from the 70s? The path on the left was a false end. Once you started it, it will expand outward for a good ways. <laughs> All to, all to at mask the tree path among other bad ends. Yeah, that's that's why the, there was a to be continued, but I didn't think it was going to be to be continued for another three hours. <laughs> I can't believe someone would actually do serious research on something like that. Yes, I agree. I read the book, but I can hardly say I understood it. I'm in no position to defend or condemn anything it said. It was probably just someone latching onto a statistical outlier from some study and turning it into a ridiculous theory. There's no scientific merit to any of it, I'm sure. But even so, I... Um... <laughs> anyway, I saw a picture like that one in his book. Hey, what do you think this picture looks like? What do you mean? Isn't it just like abstract or something like that? It's just black and white scribbles. There's no meaning there. That's it. What about you, Junpei? Does it look like anything to you? Hmm, I, I guess it looks like... Fun, fun, your, fun, your impa. Uh, 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 fun, your impa. See, I, I mean, this totally looks like one right here and here. What the hell is a fun, your impa? I, I don't know. What, what, what do you mean? What the hell is a fun, your impa? <laughs> you mean, you, you don't know? No, I, I. How the hell would I know? How could you not know? <laughs> That's. Whew. That's practically blasphemous. Wow. Oh, oh, say you're sorry. Apologize to the Funyarimpa. Goodness, you are such a rude woman. <laughs> Junpei, are you just screwing around? <laughs> Forget it. I'm just gonna tell you. This is a dog. Uh, See? It's not a like... dog. I don't know what a Funyarimpa is. <laughs> so? <laughs> Now we know what it's I don't a picture know what it is. of. We don't know what I, it is. I don't see how that helps us. A TV show from Great Britain did an experiment once. Is that the is that the end of the dialogue? I assume that's the they end. They took of it. two similar pictures. Both of them were difficult to identify initially, but once you figured out the answer, that's it. You couldn't see it <laughs> yeah, as anything else. I don't know. It's not. As, it's not as good as. Uh... Why can't I? Why can't? Why can't? 
These Yeah, I just get the I just get to mess with Lotus. That's all I get. Okay. All right. Well. Now I can go back there. Well, let me just toss myself right here. So if in your rimpo is literally nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. It was just a it was just a stupid thing. Good pause. If you want to see the other funny dialogue, the the wet dialogue, it's it's in the VOD somewhere. Um Okay, I have to set myself on this path here, so I went all left, so I'm gonna set it to go all left. No. You guys ready? Go down my my original path. Here's a deck. It was the door on the. Oh. All right, let's go. Nope, we're not. We're not going. In fact, we're just going to save and then we're going to end the stream here because. How how long would this be? No, we're we're ending the stream here. Good pause. I can't. Uh uh. Uh uh. I'm not, I can't. I can't stay awake for another three hours. So I'm a. I mean. I mean, we'll we'll finish the game up uh, next time, and then maybe we'll start uh, Virtue's Last Reward. That's probably what we're gonna do. Um, if we finish it earlier um yeah yeah we might we might do virtues last reward next or maybe do a different game i don't know uh but this is actually a pretty good stream very long stream my longest stream yet it's six hours and 20 minutes it's uh it's pretty long um yeah um i want to thank you all for stopping by uh Yep, yep. Uh, Shifty put it right. Tune in next time for the next exciting for the exciting conclusion to nine nine nine. Uh, raid? Uh, who would I even raid? <laughs> Nobody playing nine nine nine. Who would I raid? Connections. I have three people. <laughs> I have three people. Who could I possibly raid? <laughs> who could I possibly raid with three people? It's just like, oh, who the hell is this kid? Raid me with three people. What a what an idiot. <laughs> uh. Uh. uh there's someone playing nine nine nine. Okay, how do I host? How do I host? What's the button for it? Or raid. Raid, not host. How do I how do I do it? Good pause. G give me give me the guidance. There's someone playing nine nine nine. How do I raid? No raid. Ah, oh, no raid. No raid. Darn darn. It's really really hoping you'd you'd guide me here. Go to go to your stream managers tab. Okay. Really, we could just click over to them. No, it's not. It's not as ceremonious. I could get a follower out of this shifty. It's strategy, all right. <laughs> maybe, maybe he'll pop over and he'll give me a follow just for the, just, just for the sake of it, because of gratitude. <laughs> uh, stream managers tab. Okay, I'm in the stream manager tab. What do I do here? What do I do now? <laughs> what do I do now? Guide me. Guide me. You can't just leave me hanging here, good pause. Come on. There should be a raid button on the right. Okay, I guess I'm just blind then. Raid button on the right. <sighs> this is why you can't trust Max, man. Um, I'm telling you, man, you just really can't trust Max. I mean...
you really can't. You can't trust Max. I mean, oh, oh, how is that? No, no, that's not the button. I can't find it. I give up. I give up. I can't do it. How do I do it? <laughs> I'm hopeless. What is this? I am hopeless. Click the pencil. Top left at the pencil. Ah, I see the pencil. Um, it's pencil. And then plus button next to raid. There is no plus button next to raid. Um, there is actually no raid button at all. Quick actions. Would it be in quick actions? No, no that's not it. That's not it. There is no raid. There's no raid. It's, it's all a lie. Unless it's here and I just don't see it. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Brainstorm here. Are you in the edit stream manager panel? Yes, I am in that. <laughs> I am in that. There's quick actions, there's mod actions, there's active mods, auto mod queue, reward request queue, and hosting you. There's nothing else. Nothing else that I see anyway. There should be stats, then there should be panels. Well, yeah, there's stats, but except all the stats are already up there. So, I mean, those are all in the panels section that I just said. Those are really all the panels. Ah, raid channel. Okay. Okay. Snap. Okay. How do I do that? I can't do anything with it. It's like a grayed out thing. Man, yeah, this is this is quite the adventure, you guys. This is quite the adventure. You see a couple big buttons? Yeah, I do see a couple big buttons. How'd you know? How'd you know? It's almost as if you do this, too. We can work together on this. <laughs> Never mind, just press the plus to... Add it to those big purple buttons. Big purple buttons. Purple buttons. Where do you... Purple buttons are... Hold on. Hey. Hold on a second. I have an idea. I have an idea. Call it a crazy idea. Hold on. I can't figure it out. I will brute force it. I shall brute force it. Okay, all right. I think I got the name. <laughs> slash, slash raid. Awkward. Sorry. There we go. All right. I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Peace. Ah, no, never mind. Didn't work. Okay. I guess I spelled it wrong. <laughs> slash raid. Awkward. Sorry. There we go. I did it.
Easy. Fantastic. I did it. Problem solved. Best streamer ever. <laughs> Absolutely destroyed uh, this entire thing. I've done it. And now my... No, I, I, yeah, I did it. I did it. It's all that matters. I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs> Big, uh, yeah. All right. With that being said, I'll see you guys all next time. All right, go pop over there. You go say hi. Go say hi. Tell him who sent you or something. I don't know. I don't have a raid message, but yeah. All right. You go now. Goodbye. It's time for you to go join someone else. Okay. <laughs>